Welcome to a first ever battle report for Rootstem Multimedia. Uh, I'm here at Mr. Granger's house. I love that. Uh, we are going to be playing a 2000 point open play game. A little bit modified. We're not going to be using the ruses or sudden death cards. We're going to be using just a standard deployment mission and a little bit of a twist. Uh, this is Granger's lovely terrain on this lovely battle mat. Uh, we've got some armies to put down and I'll quickly just show you what mission we're going to be Range, good service, playing Imperial Guard. He's going to be player B, so he's going to be right in the centre, surrounded by Beltan Eldar. And uh, this is the mission taken hold. We're yet to put the mission and objectives down, but we'll show you them in a moment. And we've got a twist of restoratives, where basically a unit at the start of each of our turns can regain D3 lost wounds, which will be quite interesting, as we both have tanks. So after deployment, uh, we've got uh, Granger's Imperial Guard forces running down the middle. Hellhound, you sort of standard Lehman Rust battle tank down here. We've got various different squads of infantry. Everything's WYSIWYG. There's an objective there. When I get my camera right, there we are. <laughs> There's an objective there as well, uh, right in the centre of the battlefield. A couple of priests, some more heavy weapons teams, a lot of auto cannons, and a lot of mortars, and a lot of last cannons. I'm not going to enjoy uh, Hydra because he knows I'm Eldar and therefore taking <laughs> fly units and uh, some Ogrins. He's put his markers on top so I know which ones to try and pop. Uh, I've got some, personally, got me Eldar. I've got some Dark Reapers, a small squad down there. We've got a Falcon here with a unit of Fire Dragons in there, possibly to try and pop that Hellhound because I hate Hellhounds, I really do. Uh, unit of Rangers on top of these crags and another unit of Rangers in the trees. We are stating that the crags are cover for this. They are supposed to be not flat, but for gaming purposes, it's easier to have them flat and not have your figures fall over everywhere. Then we've got three wave serpents down here. And of course, another unit of rangers in that lovely building. These wave serpents are loaded. They are loaded with these guys. And we've got various different, a couple of squads here, about two squads of 10 Dire Avengers with a Warlock piece with Conceal. Another squad of eight with four characters. My version of Azraman, a Farseer, a Warlock, and a Bone Singer. So we're going to see what these guys can do. And a unit of Banshees that will be in the webway. I'll be taking off one of my 10 command points that I actually have for my army build. From that, Grange currently has seven, was that? Seven points. Uh, versus my nine now, and I don't have a, an auto on the field to be able to recuperate any of them back. Go first now, of course, with barely any units on the table, managed to get everything down first. I do apologise to any elder players out there. I am using Blood Angels dice because I do have a Blood Angel army. <laughs> so, and these are nice, big, and chunky. Go on, Grange, since you're on rolling note. Oh, it's a five. This is going to be interesting. What's mine? It's crap. <laughs> well played. Well, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, right, so I'm going to roll to see if I can seize. Because we are using the chapter approved way of actually starting this game. And right, it's a two again. This dice must be weighted towards the two. I have got to face this entire gun line. I doubt he's going to move because he has two objectives. And if you remember the taken hold we showed you earlier, I have to claim these objectives per turn. So I'm going to have to try and dislodge him if I possibly can. This is going to be very, very bad. So we're going to go to guard turn one. So after the movement phase, Grange and his guard, of course, has moved some flamers up this end. There's a bit of a guard squad movement from that side. And we're currently going into the psychic phase. So which unit do you want to go with first there, good sir? I have only one. And he has only one. And he is mm. out of range of everything. <laughs> So that's the Grange, phase Grange has been on the beer already. Uh, so I'm guessing it's shooting phase now then. It is indeed. Brilliant. What are uh, what we going with first? What, what are you trying to annihilate with me first? Right, we'll give a few orders out first of all. That's a good idea that. So, uh, if we do interpret the rules a little bit differently to other people, it's simply because we've played against each other for that long and this is how we like to play the game. Interpret slash get wrong. Yeah, a lot. This chap here is going to be giving an order to the autocannon team and it's going to be taken. Okay, and I'm guessing that's going to be at my luscious falcon over it there. It will indeed be to your luscious falcon. My luscious, luscious. Ah, I'm not going to enjoy this. Right then. So, roll that cocker. Thankfully, guard shooting is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but, but thankfully,
thankfully, I'm Cadian. <laughs> yes. So oh, we yes, take, take aim, I'm going to be ruined yeah. over all those missions. We did forget to mention this guy. He is the cheaty Cadian army, and uh, so he's re-rolling the misses. Again, still, still not <laughs> particularly awesome. <laughs> so strength seven, toughness? Seven on a falcon. And there we are. <laughs> right, this next order is going to be on two... The mortars. Okay, and all going these be, guys. It's going to be take aim again. Take aim again. It's going to be onto the. Onto the dark reapers. We're going to see reapers. a pattern, I believe, here with the take aim order. D6 so, shots apiece. You've got seven command points, you could start using them early not, if you wish. Not for mortars. Not for mortars. Yeah, Eight shots. Little... Although I am on the toughness three, so it can be quite, uh, quite easy to bring them down. It's a little better. So we roll that one and that one. one over here. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's, that's... And now, freeze to wound. That's not good. Right, okay, so six wounds. Six wounds. So, six saves. I need a two plus, because I am three plus armor, and I am currently in cover. Yep, we're all good. Next set of more orders. So this chap is going to get uh, order these chaps to take aim. <laughs> uh, the only thing I can currently see with a last cannon is a scout. All oh, right, okay. Can you no, not see this? A, uh... That is it. No, I can't see you. Oh, all right, so yeah. we're going to go for these scouts up here. So, it is minus one to hit. Uh, so for people that are not aware, you apply re-rolls before minuses. So if he does roll a four, he can't re-roll it. And it's a command oh, squad. Oh, it's a command squad. So, 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 so it's going to be, a, yeah, so it's basically, he needs fours, but any ones and twos he can re-roll. So, oh, sixes. Twatted one right in the mush. Yeah, wounded. definitely wounded. Um, it's a five plus save plus two because the class in them is being in cover, so that will make it a three minus three for a last cannon. I'm going to need a six. And no, it's probably that same dice that I'd like to roll two before. Take one off. And the last order. <laughs> yep. He's going to be onto this, and it's going to be taken. Hey! Surprise, and surprise. With the missile launcher on frag into the same unit. Okay. So five shots. Five shots. Uh, twos and threes. Uh, with a minus one to hit. So the. Yep, you can actually re roll all of them apart from that four. Because you're going to need, that's a normal command squad, so he's going to need fives. So he's actually only hit with one, because he couldn't re-roll the four due to the uh, the minus applying afterwards. It is wounded though. I haven't got a plus two, so I'm on a three plus armour. Yep. All right, heavy bolt and multi-laser from the Chimera coming into my scouts again. So, multi-laser first of all. Yeah. Um, uh, no, no hits. Minus and one. You're going to need fives, but you can re-roll your ones, but there's no ones. I can re-roll a Cadian, yes, re-roll ones you and no ones. You can re-roll ones, so. but there's no ones. So and it's heavy bolter. Heavy bolters. One uh, hit. One hit. Ooh, these ranges are proving very, very difficult. One wound. It says wound. It's a minus one, so I'm going to need a four. No, I've lost another one of these guys down here. So these the guys have been reduced to... Three. Wave serpent over there. Right, so our last cannon team onto my. How did you put it, Grange? Uh, full of loveliness. Full of loveliness, wave serpent. He's uh, needing the old fours to hit. Two, two smacked hits. in. He's threes to wound. Threes to wounds. Two wounds. Now, it's a minus three. Wave serpent is not in cover from that angle, so it's going to be sixes. And I didn't get any. So it's D6 wounds apiece. Nine. Oh, that's nine. I do have spirit stones. Because well, what you rolled, didn't you? You rolled nine, so one was six, one was three, so one becomes a two, one becomes a five. Because ah, of the serpent right. shield is minus one from the damage of any incoming attacks. So, one six. Everything else gone through, so that will be six wounds on that vehicle. Leaving me with seven. These lads which moved. Yep. So it'll be a frag missile. If we're in range, it'll be a frag grenade from the grenade launcher. Yep. Into my ranges up here. So in range, oh, nothing's rapid fire. Them. Well, sometimes call them scouts because that's what we used to be called way back when. Me and Range have played this game since second edition 40k. I actually bought my figures in the first edition. 
Uh, I'm not bad at all because I didn't get to play every game in the first edition, but I did actually <laughs> collect the figures. Right, right. So, so missile launcher. Yeah, frag missile coming in. One shot. Oh, doing well so far, Granger. Doing well. Not no, hitting. No hits. Uh, grenade launcher. Yep, D6 shots again. Five. five. Now he did move, so he can't reroll his ones, Ooh. and he does need fives to hit. Oh, oh three. three. And then we'll get some wounds. Two wounds. Two wounds. I'm going to. I'm on a three plus because I'm in cover. No minus on them grenades. Yep, I roll some high dice now. Don't do it when I'm being shot by last guns. And then six last guns. Six last guns. Ah, oh, bring on the flashlights. Two hits. Two hits, yep. I need a freeze. Two. Oh uh, no, fours. Two yeah. wounds. One wound, one wound. One, one wound. wound, one wound. We're good, we're good. We are good. Right, so Hydra onto the damage wave serpent. This is going to sting. He's going to get a plus one because I have the keyword of fly. He's got two, four, eight shots. Hitting on threes, three rolling ones because of Cadia. Yeah. Oof. So that's, that's painful. Six. Um, sevens and sevens. Squeaky bomb time. Oh. Roll on again. Yeah. Roll on again. Roll on again. <laughs> there we go. So, three wounds. Three of them coming in. Now, what's the minimum damage? What's the damage, sorry? Two, two apiece. Because of the serpent shield, of course, it's going to be one apiece. What's the minus? Uh, minus one. Minus one. So, I'm going to need fours to save. Two of them. So, I've got one damage that goes through, and then wave serp the spirit stones don't save it. So, I'm reduced to six. This one is going to be down. Ah. I forgot and to mention bracket. my he heavy bolter because I have a oh, yeah. I'm going to fire it into the same target. Yep, heavy bolter. No, uh, ooh, yeah, one hit so. Right, oh. wants to re roll. Oh. I'm thinking you need freeze, but you don't because you've no. not got the special. Yeah, we no. just had a round, another round of shooting from that little squad just underneath there, uh, shooting at the Rangers and, of course, the injured Wave Serpent. Done nothing again. Uh, I think he's tempting, he's testing my patience by holding on to this, this pain in the backside. Uh, but uh, what are you shooting next there, Grinch? Right, I'm going to be firing this Chimera. Yeah. All the heavy bolters into your... Uh, into the scouts, scouts again. And did that Chimera move? No, it's no, still it didn't. Good. So we are... Fives. Hitting on fives. Re-rolling ones. We get one more. My falcon seems to be a perfect shield for your dice. <laughs> so we have it hit you three times. Alright, so we need it. It's going to look at threes. Another two. two. I am going to need fours. Oh, these rangers are not giving up. And then working down the line, missile launcher into the injured wave right. serpent, grenade launcher, and everything else. Into the yeah, scouts. Juiced another three wounds off that wave serpent. It refuses to die at this moment in time, but it, I am getting hammered. And it's probably going to be on its last profile. I'll double check that in a moment when it comes to my movement phase. Right then. So, Good range. Next Robert's command style. squad. Oh, yes, command squad. With sniper Ooh. rifles. Into my sniper into your rifles. Sniper rifles. All right, okay. We've got three snipers now. So, we rolling ones because Acadia. rolling ones because Acadia, and it is, a, so it's freeze to hit normally, fours because of the minus one, so it's hit twice. Strength four, it's going to be freeze. Ah, it's got no sixes. So, no minuses, so we're going to be looking at, I'll roll that one again. We're going to be looking at freeze. Oh, two blood wings coming up on those dice there, high on a regular basis. Yes, Franz, you seem to be rolling quite high on a regular basis. <laughs> Especially with them Blood Angel dice. Volley of Lazgun fire impacts on the rangers. He did miss the actual wave server. I'm going to roll to see what he's going to get to wound on this here because uh, he's done quite well for once hitting. Oof. Oh! Five wounds. Now, don't get me wrong, it's three plus armor. I've only got three guys left. Oh, I think Granger's face is turning redder as we speak. I don't think he enjoyed that, to be honest. <laughs> We've got the Rangers. Okay, so we're down to the Hellhound. Uh, Hellhound, find an Inferno Cannon into this group of Rangers. Mm -hmm. And the Heavy Bolter 
into this group of rangers. <laughs> so they're all going to go... All into, into that the, one group of rangers. They're all into that one group, right. So... Which one are you doing first? Uh, Hellhound, uh, the Inferno Cannon. Inferno Cannon, 2d6 shots, I'm guessing. Yep. And these are going to auto-hit, so rangers... Oh, five to start with, let's have another go. Six, seven. Seven. So, seven automatic hits. This is how he's going to be able to get rid of these. Thankfully, it doesn't ignore colour like it used to. Oh, yeah. So strength at least six, it's two to wound. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five. What's the minus on this? That is a wonderful question. Okay, so we had a look and the Inferno can is only minus one. So plus two for being in cover, we're going to need fours to save. Ooh, we've got two deaths, two scores. Right, I'm guessing that's a heavy ball, so that's going to fire at them as well. Yes. He's going to need sixes because he's moved. Yep. Uh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yes, the dreaded twos, which seem to be the uh, the bane of a lot of players in this new edition of 40k. Leave so battle tank. I'm, I'm guessing. going to find the battle cannon yep. into the injured wave right. serpent. The last cannon yep. into the injured wave serpent. Okay. <laughs> and the heavy bolters yep. into this group of... Oh, people. right, okay. He's going to go for the scouts. So I'll do the scouts first so they can... Not get yeah. shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! He said that. Oh, it's good four hits there. Are we rolling this one? No. no, no, but still four hits on the three remaining scouts on top of that cliff face. Three's to wound. And there we ah. have a wonderful <laughs> collection of ones and twos. It's still a minus one. I'm going to need a four. And some another scout bomb from the top. Right. So ten shots. Ooh, this is going to hurt. Are you rolling ones because of Kadia? Three rolling ones because of Kadia. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Strength eight, toughness four, seven. Uh, yeah, so you're going to need freeze. That's a lot. That's mm. a six wounds. That's a minus two. So six wounds need in fives to save, with minus two. What have we got? Two saves, oh my god. So we've got four that's going to go through. Even with the minus one, that's going to be a minimum of four damage. But uh, let's roll the D3s anyway. So we've got uh, effectively four ones. So I'm going to need, on these dice, I'm going to need two, at least two sixes to be able to rescue this wave serpent. And then there's a last cannon coming in if I do manage to pass them. Do I command point, try and save the wave serpent and the unit inside. He has declared his shots, so there wouldn't be any more shots coming down at Arrow Man and his actual unit of Dire Avengers. Pretty much nearly all his army has fired. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it blow up. Well, hopefully. Okay. Hopefully. Does, uh, are you rolling it? Or I'll roll? let you roll it. Okay. No, oh, no, it crashes, crashes into the ground. Uh, I'm going to roll for the guys that's going to bail out for it. Okay. Right, so after rolling for bailouts, I've managed to lose two Dire Avengers out of the squad of eight, and I've lost a Farseer, which is not a good sign. If we were playing First Blood, that would be First Blood to Grange, but we're not. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! So, so the Dire Avengers that bailed out is on leadership. Eight normally plus one because I'm bail tan, so that's going to be leadership nine. They are not going to fail even if I roll a six with the two casualties. These, on the other hand, are leadership seven. Hang on. Yes, leadership seven. They've lost three. So five, six, seven, eight. Another ranger disappears. And then these guys have lost two. Uh, again, so if I roll a six, that's going to be pretty bad. Nope, we are good, they've not broken. Right, so after uh, my movement phase, my fire dragons made it over the crest of the hill, running up forward, using some of the old, old Eldar trickery to be able to move and fire about penalty on their assault weapons. The Dark Reapers and the Falcon have moved around to try and engage as many targets as I possibly can. I've got a unit of uh, Dire Avengers that's bailed out of this Falcon. Moving forward, I've got a shield on them, so hopefully they will be able to withstand some of this firepower, uh, especially since I don't have my guide anymore. And this unit has moved forward to try and engage some of these, especially that nasty, nasty 
Hydra, I don't know why. Right, that's uh, something new. Yes, I know Azraman seems to be right in the middle of nothing, but that's because his lovely bubble will be protecting these two units, giving them a 4 plus invulnerable save. And these two tanks have stood still so I can try and maximise my efforts <laughs> against this lovely tank. Last but not least to do on the movement phase will be to actually put down my Banshees. Yes, they are coming down on turn one. Let's see where they are. Okay, so after the loss of my Farseer, I am not going to have that great of a psychic phase. More often than not, I'm probably going to end up losing a lot of guys. Right, okay, so uh, this Warlock here has Quickening. And I'm going to try and target this Banshee unit to give them an additional movement. I think Grange knew that would come in, you could tell with his face, look at that there. Uh, it's a seven. And I roll a six. Do I command point? Do I use my first, well, my second command point? Yes, I'm going to. Reroll that two. Let's try and cast this off. Oh, it's a one. Look at that, it's a five. So I don't manage to successfully cast that. I am going to try and conceal down in that corner there. He's got conceal on that particular unit, which will allow a minus one from any hit rolls for ranged weapons. Again, a lot of these powers are very high for Elder, so I'm going to need a six. Uh, four, five, six, seven. So I do cast on a seven and manage to knock over all of my figures in the process. Right. Yeah, he's going to be on there. Um, so it's a seven. I'm guessing. What is it from? Was it coming from? From that wall, the green guy with the white helmet and. So twenty-four inch range of him, I can attempt to deny. Yes. Can't I? So where right. is your Sonica? Uh, is he there? there? Is he within twenty-four? Should be. Yes, he is. Yes, so he can attempt to deny that. He right. needs to beat my score of seven. No. no. Any command points? No, because no, I can't no. beat seven. Because you can't, <laughs> can't beat seven, so they're minus one to hit, and the same. He's going to do the same effect on these Dire Avengers here. They're minus one to hit, and I have all the six, and I do need a six to be able to cast cons. Okay, so Dire Avengers, gonna one of them can. I'm gonna fire at the last kind of team, but one of them unfortunately can't see, so he's gonna have to fire at the infantry on the ground. So I'm gonna do him first. Freeze needed, re-rolling ones because of built time. and I do roll a one as well, so I gotta re-roll that. Two hits, freeze to wound, and any sixes is gonna be a minus three, which, I'm guessing with guard, you're not gonna be able to see. No. That's two wounds, so and two with no minuses to a standard shuriken fire. And one of them goes down. So and there we go. Any ones? Oof. Any twos, yeah. There we are. So Unfortunately, I kind of had to throw it a little bit because I can't actually pick the damn things up. Not rolling as many sixes as I was on the old save there. It's five ones, a three, and a two. So that's going to be three, seven saves on the last cannon team. Five ups? Yep. Well, no, four ups. Four ups. Cover. Ah, so that only kills... Two and a half. Two and a half. So that's going to leave one stand remaining. Ooh. So this unit is going to fire off into this heavy weapons team. I really don't like heavy weapons teams, especially when they're facing down my, uh, my illustrious Falcon. Which, apologies for the paint job. Uh, are you rolling any ones? Yes. Uh, these, some of these figures are actually probably older than some of the people that might be watching this video. Uh, needing freeze. Two sixes, they're going to go straight through and kill a unit, and then you've got three armor saves of four plus because of the ruins. So another one, mm. so loses a stand and a wound. Uh, right, okay, made a bit of a boob there, didn't record any of that. This unit managed to fire open onto these guys, uh, managed to, with a bunch of sixes, which was in this area, <laughs> about seven wounds that he couldn't save, and another seven. Now, so nine wounds on this one unit. So he's taken away eight guys, left his, his heavy weapon team with one wound left. Sorry about that. Then. Right, this wave serpent's next. It's shuriken cannon is in range of this guy here. So I'm going to fire that first. And then the two twin bright, which is going to go against this lady in the spell, thing, which you knew. You knew what was coming. Uh, two hits. I need twos to wound because it's strength six. I got one six, meaning it's a minus three. He's not going to have a save. So he's gone. 
And then the Bright Lancers. Now these are strength rate minus four. Just gonna have a quick check to see whether or not we've got some cover there. Now we normally, as players, let people take cover for tanks if they are 50% obscured. I would, in this particular instance, let Grange have a cover save for the wall. Because that's how we are. We're not... What AP or right the players. AP's minus four. I'm not getting a save anyway though. Well, you will, because you'd be on twos. Oh, right, well, yeah. Yeah, so you'd be on twos, it reduces to six. If I hit, I do actually need to uh, hit. Ooh, roll that one again for a cook. I did hit with one. I need a four to wound, though. I got a five. So, and it's through. So, against the tank, D6 damage, another five. Five points of damage off that vehicle. Okay, this guy, even though he's facing the wrong direction, both Bright Lancers will be firing into the tank to try and reduce it down past that seven wounds. And the Shuriken Cannon's gonna fire into that infantry squad over there. So, Shuriken Cannon first. And re roll the ones. Are we counting that one or are we re rolling? Oh, you're that fine one? with that one. Fine with that one. Re roll the ones. All hit. Needing twos. That's going to be another you know, three ones. No minuses, so you've just got your straightforward four plus. And he two loses go. two go. Uh, I think from this angle, there might not be a save. No, majority of your tank from there mm -hmm. is actually open to that one. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be freeze to hit, two hits. We're going to be fours to wound, one wound. Damn it! I've used a command point already, trying to save my doomed farseer that seemed to have come out of that tank. Do I do it again? I need this tank to be destroyed. Yes, I do. Hey, so both of them get through. He's not going to have a chance to save, unfortunately, because they're minus four. He's shaking his head. He's looking disappointed. Uh, 2d6 damage. Ha! <laughs> Six. <laughs> so, it's down to one. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is about. Fire dragons are flaming this guy. We did that off camera and managed to do one more. Here comes. The melters. Needing freeze to hit. That's four. Uh, it's going to need freeze to wound because it's toughness six, is that? Uh, yes, toughness yeah. six. Uh, so freeze to wound and it's going to need. Toughness seven, but it's still freeze to wound. Yeah, it's still freeze to wound and it's minus four and then I roll two dice to pick the highest. So that's going to be three, that's going to go through. Unfortunately, this thing explodes quite spectacularly. Uh, I'm going to get some more dice here. So each one of those will represent one hit. And of course, I'll just discard the lowest version of red, black and gold. So, huh, three ones. <laughs> but that's 11, 13, 13 points yeah. of damage on that. Yeah. Do you blow up, sir, and possibly take out some of these guys with you? It's a no. one. Oh dear. Well, going to command point. Right? Whoa! He's trying to blow up himself to annihilate the elder. It's a good. It's a good tactic, sir. It's a good tactic. No. As we found out so far, um, command points. Yeah, they're, they're really, really useful. <laughs> so, right, we'll okay, take so the falcon. It's going to open up on the uh, actual the remains of these. Well, auto cannons. Why did my brain go blank now? Guard player as well, I should know this. And then the pulse laser is going to fire at his chimera to try and crack it open. Shuriken cannons first, no minus. Rerolling ones because of uh, Beltan. There we go. That's uh, nice and tasty. Twos to wound. Any sixes are minus three. One six. So one's going to go through and kill one stand because he's still got one left on. And then three, uh, yeah, three saves of just straightforward armor. So fours. Oh, so I managed to get rid of the auto cannon team. I've found that the eighth edition is very deadly. Um, you've got to once you get your hits in, you don't have to get your hits in. Uh, the pulse laser needing fours because I had to move the tank. No hits. Damn it. So and I've got no command points because I heartedly use them on trying to blow up this guy. So what we're going to happen here, these three rangers 
I'm actually going to open fire up the tank because any sixes to wound, which is what I need, becomes a mortal wound and therefore you can't save them. <laughs> 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 so, freeze to hit, no re rolls or any shenanigans, all hit. And I need sixes. I have a six! That tank's going to go up, does it explode? No, no. no. So these guys, the Dark Reapers, they're going to open up with their Reaper launchers in two rows, and I think I might fire the Shuriken Cannon, which gets an extra shot, into these guys here, the Snipers. Now we are counting these crates as cover, um, so he will get a plus one to his cover save. Unfortunately, for some reason, God don't seem to have cloaks anymore, do they? No, 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 um, nothing funky like that. Yeah, which really, really ruins the figures, to be honest with you. Um, but, oh well, never mind. Games Workshop. So, four shots, needing freeze, re-rolling ones. Um, because, of course, they never minus anything. Uh, Gart Reapers always need a freeze to hit. So, three hits, needing twos. Two. And no minuses to the save. Oh, oh, two fours. Oh. Both save. Both of them are actually fine. And then the free crack version rockets, which is strength eight minus three or yep, two. Double check there. Strength eight minus two and three damage. So we're going to fire off at this Chimera. Needing freeze. Two hits. I'm going to need freeze to damage. That's two. Minus, so minus two means you're going to be on five. five. No, two, I, yeah, just two. <laughs> Draw more dice if you want. But that's going to be a straight six. There's no dice rolling. Right now. Which I believe that'll take down possibly that down to four. Right, okay. So you can have a shot at. Oh, I've got the counterpart. The one that sort of wrecked his friends over here. He's hit. I needed that to wound. He's wounded, but it's a normal save. Yeah, wits of sick. Okay, so after some debate here, of course, um, Grinch said I could, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to charge this unit here behind this wall because I literally cannot see them. And I don't think personally that would actually be that fair. So I'm going to charge up here. I'm going to charge the infantry squad and I'm going to charge the Chimera. Now, because the Banshees, of course, Grinch can't actually overwatch, I do get a plus three to my charge roll. Oh, that's going to be a nine. I have to be more than nine inches away. If I move nine, am I going to be in? I would say not personally. I would say I'd need at least a ten. So, <laughs> command point. Oh, that's rolled a ten, so I've got a massive thirty. So after the charge, it looks like this. Yes, some of my figures are laying down. That's because if you notice from the slot bases underneath, they are ancient metal. Possibly before even new metal came in, so these might actually still be the lead ones, the originals. Uh, right, so seven of them are going to attack the actual infantry, and the Exha is going to go against the Chimera uh, with her Executioner Axe. So the yeah, the seven. I need freeze. Ooh, not looking too cracking. It's not too bad actually. And then I need fours to kill because it's a minus three on the power so he's not going to get a save. Oof. Uh, five other guys go down. It's going to be strength. Excuse the pluses, ones of strength. So it's going to be strength four. So he's going to need fives to wound it. So he's going to need threes to hit. Fives to wound. The executioner axe is a minus three. And D3 damage. So the execution axe needing freeze to hit. Oh, well done. One. <laughs> and five to damage. Nope, nothing. But I did manage to successfully murderize quite about half of that infantry squad. Um, which hit nine models in it and he's lost four because he's taken away his heavy weapon team. Right, your attack chance to attack back because there's no overcharges here, Grange. So right, I'll start with the Chimera. Start with the Chimera. <laughs> I, I wouldn't believe me. Oh, he's no, run over one. It's twos, because it should be strength seven, or at least yep. strength six. Uh, that's going to be a four plus armour. Yep, she's saved. Her armour holds against the tracks of the coming mirror. And the uh, the guys, I'm, are you moving in? I'll move it, yeah. Just, yeah, I'll, I'll shimmy some. 
Seven to be. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. There you go. Should all be in there. Yeah, um, so that would be four, five, six, seven for your sergeant. To give him any other weapon, personally. Uh, fours to hit. At fives, actually. Because the Banshee, she, the War Shout on the X Shout means it's a minus one to hit the squad in combat. So that was two fives, I believe. I'll believe you again. Yeah, I'll believe me again. I'll have a look at the video in a moment. And no wounds. So, right, okay, morale checks. Which one do you want to do? Start with first, I agree. These lads down, 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 down here. We lost three, you said. Three. That's a nine. It's a seven, eight, nine. He's going to lose another two. So, that lad and that one. Two lads gone. They've, uh, they've gone back to give orders. Yeah, last one here, last cannon. He's leadership six. He's fine. He ain't running. He's not. He's lost a load of men in the lower levels. He's like, sod it. I'm going to stay here. These guys lost four. Four, four models gone. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, the sergeant is still alive, so they're not running neither. So, the squad that's not really engaged with anything or coming under that much heavy fire runs off. The rest of the lads are like, no, fuck it, yeah. And sandwiches. Uh, right, so, that's uh, that's the end of a battlefield on battle round one. Um, we're going to go to Granger's movement for his turn. Okay, well, Granger's taking a swig of beer here. Uh, this Valkyrie, which... Um, it were actually as, as a thematic part of the battle because it's an ambush, we're allowing it to deep strike in. Or the new version of deep strike, so it can set up on the table edge anywhere within nine inch. Uh, what's the real reason for doing this, Grange? I forgot about it. <laughs> were you playing six edition with yep. reserve rules? Yep. Yeah, it was. Uh, so, not a problem, but of course, because we're lovely players, and to be honest with you, it actually sounds cool the fact that these guys are trying to run in to try and save some Cadians. From certain destruction, especially after the loss of a couple of vehicles down this side, he, he's going to need it, uh, to be honest. So where are you putting that, Grange? Um, so, not sure. Do this off camera. Okay, yeah. so after some debate, <laughs> it's gone down here. It has suffered battle damage on its way in, or, as we like to call it, it's currently got bits missing in Grange's house. And the veterans have piled out, ready to take on, by the looks of it, psychic fears, of course. Right then. We're going to go with a spot of smite. Spot of smite. There so there you go. So I'm guessing the... that's going to be against those guys. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're closest. That's yeah. fantastic. Oh, he's done it. He's cast yeah. it with a four, seven. So, my two guys down here will cause two. He's getting excited. He will cause two mortal wounds, but I am going to try and deny it with one of these two psychers. Okay. Because I've got a spirits. I've got a bone singer and, of course, a warlock. Only one can try and deny, but I might as well give it a go. Five, six, seven, eight. He stops the psychic power. Face, Granger's face. I should have, uh, yeah. It's saying it all at this moment in time. Um, it's Effing, the second game in a couple of days. Where Effing Elder. <laughs> this coming from, is another drink, another swig of beer. It's, it's Canadian lads. It's some form of Custer's last stand at this moment in time. Against the native I wish they were Custard. <laughs> right, did you? Orders. Good point. Uh, first one, he will order these to take aim. Yes. I will take you under advice and I will put the mortars into these guys. Oh, now it is a two plus save, just to let you aware. <laughs> Cause the I'm not allowed to shoot and kill anything in your army, Frank. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just making you aware <laughs> that I am going to get a two plus armor save with him. But you know what, I'm They're feeling three plus. I'm feeling lucky. You're feeling lucky, right, 3d6. Go 12, is it? 12. Yeah. He's going to need fours with rerolls because of his K. No, nope, reroll oh, all things, isn't all it? Of them, isn't it? Kadian reroll ones, allowing mixing with the orders, allows reroll to hit. It's going to be quite powerful. So all those, all those have hit. Mm, that's a lot of hits. So that Reapers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wounds. Three, four, five, six, seven. One more dice. Uh, right. Okay. Rolling for saves. I need twos. I have lost two on that one there. I think I'm going to kill off. Yeah, it's going to happen. Next order. Right. And I'm going to use the Vox from the command squad he's next to. Okay. To transmit an order. Yeah. 18 inches away. Okay. It's going to go into this unit here. And they're going to take him. Take him. Take him. Take him. And who are they taking him against? Right. Uh, they are taking him 
against. I'm guessing either the Dark Reapers or possibly the Fire Dragons, because I know you don't like the Fire Dragons, but you probably don't want to knock these guys out of range. No. So the rocket launcher yep. is going to fire into fire the Falcon. Falcon. Right, no problem. And then the Laz guns. A multitude of guys down here. Are going to fire yeah. at the Dark Reapers. Yeah, which, yeah, definitely going to be. We're in the 24 inch range there, aren't we? Yeah. Ooh. 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 No. We've got two guys at the back. Grenade launcher. Fire. It's fine. So grenade launcher and probably two um, las guns. No, yeah, two las guns at the front. And the las guns at the back then will fire back Ooh. onto the re uh, oh, the yep. Splitting Avengers. fire. Always works, splitting fire. Well, you've got no other choice. Right. So that will be three las guns onto the dire Avengers. Rapid fire as well, isn't that? Okay, uh, well, all three of them. Uh, yeah, all three of them will be within 12 inches, so that's going to be six shots. That's four, five, six. And now you do need fives, re rolling all. Well, you don't re roll the four. So that four's gone. That four's gone, but you do re roll everything else because of the conceal. Two hits. Uh, uh, we'll be on fours. Yep. One more. Now, because they're in cover, of course, within that lovely base, uh, it's going to be better than taking his 4 plus invulnerable save, so I'm going to take their armor save of 3 plus. Nope! <laughs> <laughs> just, one of them just perishes. Uh, frag grenade? Yep. For 5? Oh, 5 shots. Uh, roll. You misses. Oh, All hit. hits, that's five hits, and then there's another two lag guns to fire as well if you want to add them Jump to the weight. The five, right? One I'll hit. That. So it's just a one. So that's all the fours. Wounds. That's another four wounds. Four wounds. Two to save, because like I say before, this, we are crossing this as cover. Oh! <laughs> two ones! <laughs> the mighty flashlights. Two ones! Who needs a Lehman Ross? In this game. And then the rocket launcher. Right. Here we go. Oh, it's missed. Take aim. Take aim. It misses. It still misses. Players. still misses. Your heavy weapons fire has been spot on in this particular game. Oh, sorry. It's missed. <laughs> First then. Yep. On to the last cannon team. Take right. oh sorry, the command squad. Take aim. Take aim. The last cannon is gonna hit the Falcon. Yep. Plasma into the Dark Reaper. Oh. Last gun. Dark Reaper. Dark Reaper. Oh, oh right. Go on the camera. So plasma. Yep, plasma gun first then. Hits. Yep. Two to wound. It's a one. Are you wanting to command point that? You do have six left, I believe. Yes, I do. Yeah, let's 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 try to make sure we wipe him out. So <laughs> let's right make, I, I feel like I've not actually hurt you yet at all. <laughs> so I'd like to at least remove a unit. There we go. Yeah, but well, hurting elder squads is taking two or three men out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you just sit there and go, oh, that's a hundred and something points gone. Um, so it's a minus of four. I'm on a two. No, it's minus. Three. Three. Yeah. I'm on a two plus armor, so I'm gonna need a five. No. And then the last cannon into the falcon. All right. You need a three. Rerolling. Yeah. Hit. I do have some command points I could probably use, but I'm not going to. Wounds. Wounds. Minus three, so I'm gonna need a six. Nope. D six damage. Six. six. I do have spirit stones, because hey, it's an elder vehicle. You never leave home without it. Not one six. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. <laughs> In fact, just look at that. Ones and twos. Ones and twos. Thing of beauty. Thing of beauty. To be honest with you, a lot of your order ranges can be 18 inches because you've got a hell of a lot of box knocking up and down. Yeah, I'm just looking what I've got left though from. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Plenty. Plenty. Yes. Using the box. Yep. He's going to give an order. Yep. To this unit in here. Okay. And it's going to be take aim. Take well, surprise, surprise. Uh, take aim at. Right, the missile launcher. Yeah. Is going to be on frag. I was going to go frag, right? And we're going to go into these lads here. In fact, oh, I'm going to put yeah. the entire unit into this squad here. Not a problem. So, and a frag rocket. No problem. So the frag rocket first. Yep. Five. Five. Shots. 
Ooh. Oh, um, you're rolling. Yep, yeah, re-rolling the fails. You're Is not it? moved. Yep. Yeah. They don't have a minus one on it. It's even uh, two larger squads that do. So that's four hits. Needing freeze to wound. Ooh. That's four. Freeze to save because I'm in cover. And I lost a man. And then the plasma. Plasma guns are firing. Yep. Hits. Yep. Whoa! I think you've rolled a one every time you fire these plasmas. Are you? Uh, are you yeah, we need, to, we need to. We need to. Uh, it's maintenance. I don't know. Maintenance, it's... not if. Uh, yeah. yeah. And flashlights. Yep. Two re rolls on that. Wow, that's some pretty good hits from flashlights. Oh, one one miss. And we need some fours. Three. Three. Another one bites for dust. That's two of those guys down. Okay, Open so that's kind of straight through the gap into that one there. I'm pretty much open through the gap. It's a hit. It's, it's wounded, wounded me. I need a six to save. That's the opposite. <laughs> four so points. Four points. Minus one for the wave serpent shield. Cheating yes. Eldar magic. Cheating Eldar magic. Yep. Yeah. Cheating Eldar. It'll be scum. And then. See if we can remove them on sixes. No, no. So I suffer three points of damage on that. That takes that one down to ten. Okay, so frag rocket. Unit, it's firing into the dire revenge with the minus one to hit. Frag rocket, one las gun, and a grenade launcher. And I'm guessing a last pistol on that one. Las well. pistol is in range. Yeah, last gun. Was that last gun in rapid fire? Uh, no. Because he's supposed to be stood up. <laughs> Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And he's in rapid fire range. So that's three, so. fl three flashlights, first of all. Yep. We're hitting. Yep. All hit. All hit. Two of which have wounded. Oh yes, right. Okay, I'll take the saves now, and I've lost another. I've lost a guy. Uh, these are on a five plus invulnerable save because they do have the shield. If it actually uh, has a minus to it. And then a frag rocket. Yep. Five shots five again. Five shots. Five shots. Uh, needs fives. Re rolling the ones. <laughs> so, only on threes. Yep. Yeah. That is three more wounds, mate. Three more wounds. Take a look this here. That's another one down. And then a grenade another launcher. One bites the dust. Yep. Yeah. I'll take away from the augments. Four shots. Five zero really ones. Two ones. Two minutes. And oh, it's it's guys, it's... right, the Granger's dice roll comes back to normal. <laughs> so we're so, going to these Dire Avengers. Heavy ball from the Hydra into the Dire Avengers, and the um, Hydra itself. Hydra itself is going to go into this. Ah, one yes, here. simply because, of course, as we've mentioned, our rules would actually mean that that one would get a save, and the other one would also get a plus one on the save as well from the angle, but the Falcon, no. no. <laughs> And it also it's a flyer. And also it's two damage against yeah. that because the wave serpent shield would reduce it down to one damage a piece. Which one are you going with first? Right, heavy Walter. Enter the Dire Avengers. That's two hits. Two hits. Yeah, because they're not the minus one ones. And one, one wound. wound. In the old game that would have been two wounds. But, uh, and a five. Yep, yeah, they've definitely saved on that one. Three plus seven minus one equals four. And and then eight shots eight coming shots. into this guy here, needing freeze, re-rolling ones. Good choice of unit against the Eldar is the Hydra. Unless someone is dastardly like me and takes a lot of wave serpents. But <laughs> I do have a total of six. So we're looking at four is it fours? Strength oh, seven? It's right, seven. So we've got three that goes through. That is actually six damage. Um, it's only a minus one. But though. it's only a minus one, so I need force to save, and I've got hollow field. And I've got the hollow field. Oh, all three has gone through. Because it's minus one needing force. So this is going to be six damage upon the falcon. Not one six. He doesn't explode unless you talk to one off the guy. It's definitely going to be within a 36 inch range. So, multi laser first of all. Yep. <gasps> two hits. Two hits. Two hits. Needing two multi laser, it's not six. Mm. 
And two wounds. Yes, two wounds. I'm going to need freeze to save. I have saved, unfortunately, for Mr. Granger. And then heavy bolter. Oh, normally it would normally, have hit. Normally it would have been, uh, been, would have been really good, but unfortunately, because the rangers are minus one to hit and from range attacks, he's got no hits. Right. My priest has got a shotgun. Okay. And he's the closest target is the he's warlock. He's going to be the warlock, so he's going to shotgun the warlock in the face. So uh, I now need to figure out what a shotlock gun yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the main storm priest, priest. shotgun within half range, he's going to be strength four. He needs freeze to hit. He hits with one. No, don't force to hit. So he's it's forced to hit, well, he's hit anyway. Just the one. Yeah, and he's wounded. Wounded. Mighty six. He's a four plus invulnerable save for his ruin armor. And he fails it, so he takes a wound. So he's down. He's suffered a wounding hit. And now, grenade gauntlets. Oh, here we go. Only the two of them. Yeah. Into those dire avengers. Into the there. dire avengers that are not on a minus one. Because. Ow. That's uh, nine shots. Nine shots. Do uh, to understand what's happening with that one. That's an awesome round of shooting. Two, three. Ho oh. ho. And then wounding. It is freeze to wound. It is. Yes. On, so that's going to be three wounds though. I need a free plus save because I'm still in cover. Yep, that's going to be three saves. My snipers. Oh no, forgot about those. <laughs> My snipers will be firing. Into the Dire Event. Oh, the Dire Event. Now, it is a minus one to hit those, remember? Yeah, that's on, on fours. So it's going to be hitting on fours. Re rolling ones. Re yeah, re rolling ones. And I've rolled another spectacular one. So, Valkyrie. That's good, sir. Last cannon. Into the damaged wave service. Well, 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 well. Multiple rocket pods. Yeah. What range have they got? Uh, I believe it's 36, but it won't matter because they're going in. They're going into this guy. Now you're going to need a six to hit because it's your yeah, class is moving when you come in from deep strike. Yep, very true. So you're going to need sixes. Yeah. So it's up to yourself. Yep, no, no. It's, nope. I've not hit anything yet. Okay. So I'm, not, I'm, I'm <laughs> continuing with the theme of not being able to shoot anything. So the last can. That's, that's missed. That's missed. And, and then two, the two D6 yep. for the shots. That's four shots. Are you wanting to command point any of them? No. No. Nope. Well, not when I'm hitting on sixes. Yeah, that's true. There we go. So yeah, that, that's uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, fantastic. Well done, Valkyrie. Well done. Because he's destabilised, you see. He's, he's <laughs> Everything is firing at the. Uh, yeah. So I'll the, start uh, with the guys. with the melters. Yeah, I'm I'm bought the flamer because we have already noticed you have to be nine inches away. The heavy flamer is not in range, so he is going with the melters first. Three of them. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Shouldn't laugh. Oh dear. Okay, one hit though. One it's hit. twos to annihilate. Yes, yeah. I'm glad that one to one because I would have suspected that dice may have gone out the window. <laughs> if it was. Um, and everything should be in rapid fire range. So that would be. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. So that would be two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Eleven shots, shots including the pistol from the sergeant. Calculating which dice to use this time around. He's wanted to know which ones are not weighted towards the one. Let me roll that one because of K. No, no. Oh, it moved. Uh, I moved. moved. So moved. I can't. Moved. Cheating. Cheating. <laughs> Silly so, game. Um, so, yes. So you've hit quite a few because these are veterans. That's why they have an enormous amount of melter guns. Says the man with fire dragons. So, yeah, this is true. No. So that would forms. be five wounds. Ooh, that is quite tasty. Don't get me wrong, I do need two to save for being in cover, but still quite a lot of wounds there. And I I am rolling quite a lot, as you can see, of wands. You're not again, Grange. Sorry. What, this Grange? Uh, what's it going to be? Is it going to be a frag a... rocket, Grange? No, it's going to be a fucking crack. <laughs> into <laughs> into, into the fire dragons. dragons. <laughs> he really hates <laughs> It's a hit. hit, it is a hit, it is a hit. It's two to wound. Oh, <laughs> right, okay. Right, well, that's once again another disappointing shooting phase. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is go into a disappointing charge phase. Righty oh, we'll do all the charges and overwatches off camera. No, it's going to be out of the way. Right, so uh, a couple of charges here. We had some Ogden's charge into the. Uh, uh, do I intervene? No. Uh, no, <laughs> I'd rather not. 
Um, so I've got the Ogwins charging into the Dire, Dire Avengers over here, and we've got the Ogwins charging into the uh, Howling Banshees, which are currently having a nap, simply because they're so weighted. Session. Um, this guy here is not charging because, of course, he advanced. So, which one do you want to do first? Sorry, you want to do the Banshee ones first? We'll do the Banshees ones first. So we're going to attack the Banshees first. So, the Bonehead, which is the one with the mace, has yep. four attacks. With Avalanche of Muscle, you can add one to the attack characteristics in the fight phase and the turn in which you made a successful charge. Awesome. So, so he's now five, five attacks. attacks. And that is also on the normal guys. Right, he's going to be hitting on fours. Still not bad in one of the other. And then we are, well, that is a power mall, so I think that's plus two, so that takes him to strength seven. Mm -hmm. And these are strength five, so these will be winning on threes, threes and those twos. will be winning on twos. So all the, all the blue ones have actually mullered me, and I've got quite a few saves on the others as well. Uh, which ones do you want to apply first here, Graham? I'll apply... If the extract has two wounds, just in case. Right. I'll apply, then, the whites first. So that's five normal attacks. Just move your dice out of the way. Yeah. I need fours. This is not looking good. I've lost... Three. It's not. So, <laughs> mine's on the fives. No, I lose another two. Ah, there's three. You only should do two dice there, those three. Oh, yes. Thank <laughs> you. Cheating already. Oh, that's another three. So, I'm down to the X shark. And... Okay, so after looking at the rules, I'm not going to interrupt. I'm just going to let Grain. I'm guessing you've got the consolidation to, uh, to barrel in there. Yeah, well, get in there nice and snug. And yeah, and it's going to be the same attacks. Anything the priest can do to try and aid Oh, them yes, there is. There's zealot and things like that, so mm. I'll just go and find out what that one does. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. so, after looking at the rules in the course, the war hymns from the priest allow them to get an extra attack apiece. So, even with the avalanche of muscle, they're rolling a lot of dice. Uh, any, I... Anything where I'm rolling minuses again? Or... Nothing on that particular no, no, no. unit, it's just that they have a 5 plus invulnerable save. Ooh, I'll uh, pull that, that one again because that one dropped. Yeah. So... You need freeze. Oof. And then, same again, those will be on threes. Those will be on twos. And those will be on twos. On well, two damage, I'm guessing, applying the fours yeah, first. Yeah. Applying the whites first. So two whites, and unfortunately, just two blue. My word. That was some awful dice. I'm going to roll the blacks for the invulnerable saves. Yep. So the reds will be fours, the blacks will be fives. I am, I lost one. <laughs> I lost one out of that unit. Uh, well, yeah. I'm going to fight back with them first. Um, so let's move the guy across. There we are. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six normal attacks, and then the guy with the glaive. So six normal attacks back, needing freeze. That's nearly as good as your dice rolling, and then needing fives, nothing. And then the power glaive is two attacks, needing freeze. One, and I need fives of this. Yeah, so that's wounded. Yeah, yeah. So that's twos takes it to four. Yep. Yeah. No, sorry, minus, yeah, minus two. Ah, takes so a it takes a wound. So one of the slab shielders is wounded. And that takes them down. Two, two wounds left. Right. My Chimera. I've messed up here. A chimera gets a chance to attack. I've, I've no, oh, that's it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, panicking move there, panicking move. Yeah. Right, so the three black is going to be for the X shot. And the two red will actually be for the standard lady. These are going to go against the Ogwins. And oh, oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Um, the, I need fives on both of them. It's a minus three on both, but the black will cause D3 damage. Both of them have wounded, actually. So it is a minus three. I'm guessing the slab shields are going to be two. Slab shields will be first, so. So that one first then, the standard single hit. No. And that's gone through, and remember D3 damage. No. So 
So D3 damage. One of them has already been on one wound then, so I'm going to need at least a 3 plus. Hey! What a successful dice roll. Command points, since I've still got oh. about eight of them left. Right, there we go. That will kill an Ogryn. Thank God for that. Okay, so, a uh, lovely loss of three on this unit over here, which even if I roll a six, six, seven, eight, nine, because of Bell Tan, means that they're not going to break. Unfortunately for these guys, these have lost six people. So let's see what happens. I got a one! They ain't breaking. The, uh, the lovely ladies are staying still. I lost two out of this squad. Actually, even on six, that would take that to eight and their leadership's nine, so they're not going anywhere on either. Um, so, at the end of that particular round, Grange again has got this and this. Uh, so I'm going to take him up to four VPs. Whereas I currently am only on one, but it is my turn. So, let's uh, do my movement phase, and we'll come back to have a look at the battlefield. So, after some movement, we've got some guys running back, we've got the... Bones here, we're trying to run back to try and heal this in the psychic phase. Those guys have fallen back out of combat. Possibly the other snipers can try and tear some ogrins to pieces. Or try and finish off that boy up there, because I don't like him. And then these guys have all moved forward, ready to be able to assault. And of course try and kill a lot of these guys. And the flamer and everyone else from that squad has also moved. I'm moving on to that objective, because at the moment I'm only on one victory point. And Grange is on four. Somehow. Okay, so psychic phase. I'm first off going to cast Reveal with this guy. This is completely different to Conceal, which I completely um, enter this unit here to try and actually reveal them from their cover. Uh, yep, yeah, four, five, six, it's five, six, seven. So that's a pass. The psychic here could try and stop it. This means yeah. that I don't get a cover save. No. No, it matches with Ice Roll. Oh, not that piece of cover. Uh, <laughs> just <laughs> easier. Uh, I'm going to do two versions of Smite called Destructor. Needing a five. And he gets a six, seven, eight, nine. So that's one wound because their Smite is only one. It's called Destructor. And it's just one mortal wound rather than being D3, regardless of what I roll. And the other guy, he's going to try and do it again with a minus one, needing sixes. And he successfully does that one as well. So that's another mortal wound on that guy. And making sure that I can at least kill an Ogryn. He doesn't have to roll a psychic test. He just basically automatically passes and can repair D3 damage. Or D3 wounds, that'll be a two. So this tank will go back up to 12. It looks a bit. I'm going to use uh, Feigned Retreat. So these Dire Avengers are going to be able to open up into these Ogryns. We've got one two three there's gonna be six guys left i believe yeah? yep correct six guys left and plus uh, the uh the extra uh freeze re-rolling ones right so that's a miss that's a miss that's a miss and that is a miss five and strength is four and any sixes are gonna be quite a large minus which is probably gonna take on the slab shields Ooh. so one normal armor save and one with minus three normal yeah, fine. And minus three. Fine. Also fine. That's not good. That's not good at all. The snipers are going to also aid that. So five sniper shots. Needing threes. It's going to be four. And uh, needing fives and sixes, but any sixes are going to be mortal wounds. So in addition, so that's one. So that's going to be one mortal wound and two armor saves. Right, also on the slab shields. Yep. Yeah. Slab shields are fine. Oh, tank. It's going to fire his shuriken cannon into the Ogrins. I really don't like these Ogrins. And these Bright Lancers are going to fire into this bad boy over here, which is currently flying. So, three shots from the uh, shuriken cannon. Uh, Rerolling ones because I have uh, Beltan. And I missed with everything spectacularly. And two shots into this needing four. That will still be hard to hit. Yeah, that's why I'm oh, fours. Got that fours. Yeah, yeah. I'm normally needing threes, so I'll be on fours. That's one hit. Uh, toughness? Uh, seven. Do you have any form of command points in your lovely book to try and save this at all? Or? No. No, right. Well, okay. I probably have, but I don't know. Probably. It. Uh, right, so it's freeze to wound. So it's wounded and it's a minus four because it's bright on Straight through. Straight through. D6 damage. One. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Do I command point this and get another one? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> right, okay. 
are free! Yay! <laughs> After checking some ranges, we found that the priest is actually closest to this tank. So I'm going to open fire on the priest with the shotgun cannon. And of course, the bright lancers are going to target this over here. Um, it's three to hit, so two hits. The priest, I'm guessing, is toughness two, three, three sorry. And the two's to wound, that's what I've got running around in my head. Uh, one's a six, which will be minus three, and the other one is a two, so a standard save. Mm -hmm. And I believe I've got a four plus invulnerable, don't mm -hmm. I? Yes. yes, so it's four, two, four up invulnerable. Two four up invulnerable saves. Oh, and he lost the wound. And then the lancers, so two lancers into this, needing fours because of the hard to hit rule. I hit with one. I need threes. It is a three. So I can't save it because of the minus four, which hmm, can be a little bit uh, dodgy now, I think, to be honest with you in the head. But uh, mm -hmm. right, d6 damage. <laughs> you want to? Oh, I can't. Oh, no, no, I can't. No, no, no. Bugger off. These are going to shoot the flyer. Jink. <laughs> <laughs> I am outside of six, so I am not going to be re rolling my two dice here. And then the flame is going to go against the veterans. So the three first against the vehicle. Mm -hmm. I need freeze. Damn it. One hit. It needs freeze to wound with re rolls of one because of the, uh, the rules for the fire dragons. Welcome to my <laughs> dice rolls. Yeah, right, okay, D6 auto hits with a flamer. Three. Strength five, needing freeze with a minus one. Two on the veterans. Yeah, two more down. The guy is going to fire a sniper rifle. I'm going to fire it at the opposite snipers. Oh, no, I've lost two. Uh, needing fours because he, he ran. Well, I didn't run, he moved. Oh, yeah, he's hit. He's going to need. That's a wound on the opposite snipers. And that's a save on the opposite snipers. And then another three guys, these are gonna go against the, these three are gonna go against those guys. I need threes to hit. No re-rolls on the ones. I need, not them. <laughs> <laughs> these dire Avengers are gonna fire upon this unit here that has no cover save. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus an extra heart. Seven, I need more dice. <laughs> so right, I'll re-roll some of these. So I've still got another three dice to go. So I'll re-roll three, three twos. So I get to re-roll me ones. So I'll re-roll me ones first. Just one. And then I'll re-roll three twos. One, two, three. Right, okay. Ooh, not bad, not bad, not bad. So I need freeze. Any sixes are going to pretty much auto kill, so that's two down. Three, only four. So four wounds, needing uh, fives because of the uh, no cover. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are Avengers. Uh, I'm going to check what range I've got and see what targets are viable. Okay, so the shuriken catapults I finally decided is going to target that one lonely last cannon guy over there. Which annihilates it, and he's gone bye-bye. Right, uh, it's going to be my charge phase. We're going to do a lot of charging off camera. And then when we come back, I'll show you what we okay. do. So, managed to get a charge off in the air, unfortunately. He's down to one wound, and he lost all of his men. <laughs> <laughs> so, I did well there. I did really well. Um, these guys have managed to get into this squad, only just. And uh, they didn't suffer any casualties. Azraman's actually gone in there and the other Dire Avengers have gone into the Chimera. I'm going to start the combat, of course, with the Dire Avenger Phoenix Lord. He's got five attacks, mm -hmm. needs twos to hit, and he's going to need fours to wound the Ogrins, because the Ogrins are toughness five and Azraman is strength five. So he's going to need twos to hit. Typical I roll at least a one. No sixes. Uh, it needs. It does need, like I said, it needs force to wound. It's minus three and d3 damage. And if he rolls a six, it's d3 mortal wounds. So his sword is quite powerful. No sixes. One four. <laughs> so what's on? So that's a minus two, no, sorry, minus three and d3 damage. So I'm guessing that's a slab shield guy. So it's a slab shield, so on a six, he's one's dead. Yeah. 
No, it's one, five. Two. No, no, it's D3 damage. D3? Oh, sorry. Yeah, D3? Three. No, no, no. One! Ah. Yay! Come on, boy. <laughs> <laughs> two. Oh, uh, well, never mind. I suppose the uh, thing you might have a chance of actually. Okay, okay so the next combat is these guys. These are consolidated up. And it's uh, this bunch of attacks here, and you can freeze. Next shark, of course, is in black. And then I need fours. Next shark didn't do anything. I don't think I've ever done anything with those guys. Uh, but five wounds from the normal Dire Avengers. Alright, so let's see what we can do. And two more go down. No, it's, it's it minus... fives, mate. So that would be one save, that yeah. wouldn't it? So that's four that's gone down. Oh. Okay, so the guy's attacking the Chimera. I think he's only got his sergeant and a couple of bods left down. Oh, yeah. Sergeant attacking these guys attacking the Chimera. Well done that that man. That 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 X shark, you flipping Brr. And then need six. <sighs> Doing very, very well. You're doing very well. Now I get a chance to choose an ongoing combat. Of course, I'm going to choose the Banshees. They're going to attack uh, the Ogrins. The Banshees, the X-Shark will be in red this time. because I've got two black already in my hands. I need freeze. Oh, Christ. And then I'm going to need fives on them all. I've got one through with a minus three. That's going to be on the Slab Shield Ogryn. He needs a five to save. He doesn't do it. He's gone down. But it does mean that the brute boy there is going to be able to attack back, probably barreling, I would probably think, into Azraman. We'll see what we can do. That's a good idea. Right, okay, barreling into Azraman. Um, you don't get your plus one for charging, so I'm guessing is it four attacks with these guys? Four attacks, yes. Okay. Four attacks with these guys. Uh, yeah. Strength seven. Uh, toughness of Azraman is four. Ooh, free through. He does have a free plus invulnerable saving combat. But one oh you're all right, that's uh, cocked. Oh crap. So <laughs> yeah, a lot of ones. Uh so that's two attacks that's gone through. That means that is it two damage? Two damage apiece. So that's gonna be four damage on Azraman. He's got two wounds left. He's only got six. And I did forget to do this X shot down here. So we'll just quickly go back. Uh two attacks. You freeze and then needing nothing, not that. So these guys, I'm guessing, consolidate in. Yeah, let's lap yeah. around it and give him a good kick in. No if. Is that sergeant? He wants to go a different direction. No, no, no. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten attacks. Oh, I think I may have uh, sacrificed too much on that particular flank. Only the snipers are holding the pass, allowing the escape of the Cadians. That's quite a lot, it's pretty good. Six Only got out. one wound left as well on this guy. Need three, four, three wounds. Four, sorry. He's gone down. Right, okay, so we're going to do the sergeant, which we forgot about inside here. Uh, he's attacked back with his guy. He's managed to roll four hits, which is incredibly impressive for guard. But is he going to be able to wound? That, that was the wound. wound. That was the wound. Oh, that yes. was the wound. So, we've so already done the hits. That's the wound. Oh, right. That's the wound. Okay. Okay. Four times. Right. Two gone down. After the morale went, no real guys running off here apart from these two in the building, allowing me to claim that objective and that objective at the end of his turn, bringing me up to three VPs compared to Granger's four. So I am slowly but surely catching up. Don't know if Alzheimer's going to survive another round of brutal combat with that Ogrin. Hopefully, he should be able to deck him out next turn round. Uh, it depends on what these Ogrins do <laughs> back here. He has lost quite a few men again, but it's guard. It's what they do. And unfortunately for the, the, uh, for the Eldar, I'm slowly but surely losing my men, which is not what I need to do. So we're going to do the guard movement for turn three, and we'll come back to the shoot. Psychic and then shoot. Okay. Okay. Psychic phase. Psychic uh, phase. My he's, psychic uh, yeah, he's is right. going to smite Asuna. Okay, here we go. Gets right, it. so I guess it would be a seven. I definitely have a warlock within 24 inches. I need an eight. Let's save him. 
Born 11! <laughs> oh, the psychic might of the elder! Well, what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. First set of orders. <laughs> Take aim! Take aim! <laughs> and we're going to be taking aiming with the mortars. The oh, mortars yes. are going to fire at your Oh, face. really? Straight into the building. I wonder if uh, the old game of scatters, he probably wouldn't have done that, to be honest, but uh, in the new one. Oh, he probably would have done. Oh, well, <laughs> that, that is true. That is so, true. Depends shots. on how many of those beers he would have had, to be honest. 12 shots. So, 8. Needing 9, 4s. 10, 11, 12. Are we rolling any misses? Mm. Oh, I've missed once. Oh, the power of Imperial Orders. That's going to hurt. Fours onto threes. Mm -hmm. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six wounds. Not as bad as well as four on that one there. I've got two guys left. Needing threes because of the cover. Look at that. Just look at that all together. And I am now going to play a strategy. Oh, here we go. Overwhelming field, uh, fields of fire. Do we know overlapping fields of fire? That's the one. That's the one. How many beers have you had? Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> so this one, two command points. Mm -hmm. Use this strategy as a Canadi Canadian unit. It's <laughs> inflicted an unsaved wound. Wonder has returned. My hostess and the mostess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just know how Spielberg feels. <laughs> I genuinely do. He's going to give this unit in front of him. Take aim! No, look at that. Did and that then, unit move? It did move, yes, which means it will only be re rolling on what it's yeah, ones. Yeah, the only ones, yes. I'm glad you know my rules. Well, uh, I thought, yeah. well in that case, then, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give it to these guys. Good idea. And they are going to snipe the hell out of him. No problem. Okay, it's minus one to hit. Uh, so any fours, he's not, any threes, he's not going to be able to re-roll. All right. So yep, yeah. <laughs> two hits. Two hits. Counts as a hit, but then minus one means it's not hit. So yeah, two hits. Oh, oh. he's been sniped. Uh, orders over here then. And no, what they can do really is there's not much. They're, they're much moving over to help now. Yeah. But we're, we're just, we're just yeah. very, very slow. <laughs> uh, he's going to give these guys a uh, tick in. And we're going to be shooting in at the Dire Avengers. No with problem. Frag grenades and frag rockets. Okay. Just make sure we can actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, frag mm. rocket. Right. One mm, shot. One shot. You're at command point. It is a hit though. Mm, it's two, it and then frag grenade. Five. five. Do you want to just add that to your last gun? Yeah. Well? So that's five, and the last guns would be one. One. <laughs> <laughs> so that's six shots. Oh. And we. You got to take aim, remember, so you get to reroll. So that will be five hits. And one mighty wound. That is one the mighty wound. Look at that collection of ones. <gasps> Tess taken out one. a guy. And his last, last order will be onto these guys. Because it's the only one in range. And it will be take aim, so at least I'm re-rolling once. Okay. So that's three last guns and a plasma gun. Okay. And then the missile launcher will be firing a frag rocket. Down onto the scouts. No problem. Eighty on sixes. Yeah, yeah, it's so moved and minus one two. Frag rocket. Uh, one, one shot, shot. again. <laughs> well done. Ah, uh, missed. Yeah. And then the two last guns. Yep. Yeah. And you get a plus one to hit with these. Nothing. You roll ones. You did. Well done. Yep. Yeah. Two, two hits. hits. And two two ones. ones. Two saves. And then the plasma. That does hit. Uh, yes, for overlapping fields, that will hit. And does wound, no minus um, three. They're on a three plus armor, so I'm going to need a six. No, opposite of what I have. The veteran unit are going to pour what fire they can. 
Alright. Into the Dire Avengers. Which pretty much is everything that can... Well, everything can see something. Um, so it's going to be a heavy flamer. Heavy flamer to start with. Three guns, yeah. This is going to hurt. Four hits from the hits. heavy flamer. Three Ooh, wounds as a minus, minus one. one but I'm plus one for being in cover. So I'm on fours. <laughs> <laughs> and three melter guns. Yep. All of which have hit. All of which have hit, yep. All of which are wounded. I'm down to my X Shark. Uh, mm -hmm. So he's on one wound left and he's on a 4 plus invulnerable save for Battle Focus. Which he makes. Well. So. <laughs> so a grenade? Yeah, you can chuck, chuck so a grenade. So one in grenade there. and then one, two, three, four rapid firing lasers. So that's four. eight. One, two, three. Three. Three, three rapid firing lasers. So a grenade is. Six, six. shots. So that's 12. This guy. 12 in total, so that's yep. 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, re rolling ones? No, you moved. Very good point. But um, you are hitting on twos. Yes. Because of overlapping fields of fire, your KD, and then the veterans. So those have hit? So those have hit. And those are good. It's only four of them. Only four of them, he's got one wound left, he's on a three plus armour. Do I use a command point just to annoy him? Yes, go on then. Yes, that's safe. <laughs> <laughs> Grenade are gone, so I'm sip of tea, gonna go into the other direction on the bottom. So one, one shot. Which has a hit, yeah. And wounds. Wounds. Yeah. Oh, it does wound. Uh, no minuses for Grenade are it's four plus. Oh, I'm losing another Dire Avenger. Just take one off the front for me, please. <laughs> That'll make your charge as difficult as possible, if I possibly can. Right. Uh, priest. All right. Shotgun. All right, straight, straight back into the one that he's already trying to pursue. Both missed. Ooh, that's a good. I'm going to put this into... Ah, decisions, decisions. The heavy bolt is going to go into the scouts, and okay. the hydra is main gun is going to go into the, the wave serpent. Wounded wave serpent. Yeah, he's on twelve. Right, which one first? Uh, heavy bolter. Heavy bolter. Needing fives because of the minus. That one's a bit yeah, cocked. Yeah, definitely. That's th big drop. Not... <laughs> yeah. One hit. One hit. It's wounded. Wounded. Not safe. Fire. So this is threes, we roll in ones. Yep. All of them. Shit. <laughs> Fours. That's better. There we go. Back, 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 on, back to normal. Uh, minus one, did you say for this? Uh, yes, minus one. So I need fours. So two's gone through. Now it is minus one to the damage. And... Uh, it means it's going to be suffering two wounds. It's going to be suffering two wounds. So it's back down to ten after we come. Um, right. Are these, guys, ca are these guys characters? They are, mate, yes. Right, then. In that case, the last cannon yep. is going to go into the wave serpent. Yep. And the multiple rocket pods are going to go into the Dire Avengers. Ah, uh, yep. I can see them. So the last cannon, first of all. Yep. It's a hit. hit. Ooh. Doesn't wound mm -hmm. bounces off the thick exterior of a wave serpent. Uh, would have thought that elder armor would be so <laughs> hard. So multiple rocket pots. Yep. That's eight shots. Eight shots. Now what's the rule on this one? So if it targets a ground, I'll, unit, I'll, I will reread it. Right. Okay. So uh, yeah, it's plus one minus one. So it's basically going to be hitting on fours. Some cracking shooting there. That, that was some cracking shooting for Space Marines. Uh, strength of the item? Uh, it was one wound. <laughs> one wound. Any minus? <laughs> no, he's, he's running over again. He's running over again. Uh, one. Minus one. one. So we need five. Yep, saved. Uh, right, I think that might be my shooting done. I'm guessing it might be. Uh, we'll do some charging and we'll come back. It's going to be Okay, so... Which one are you going with first, sorry? It's going to be Bogrins. Well, the Bogrins are going to go in. So normally five attacks. Yeah. With the Bogrins, 
like four attacks, five because they're avalanche and mushrooms, six because they're within six inches of the priest. Yeah, and nice. then the other guy normally has three attacks, four avalanche. attacks because they're avalanche, and then another one yeah. because of the priest. Needing threes. Needing threes. Four then. misses. It's quite a lot of hits. You need threes on the whites, twos on the blue. So Oof. that was all of them. So they're at a minus one, and these are in standard. Okay, so the standard ones first. That's three of them. Fours. I lose a man. And what? How many? What? How many attacks? That's four. four. And these will be fives in vulnerable saves because of the. Shield. So I lose another two, so I lose three Dire Avengers in total. Okay, the next charge is the one that's under here against the single Dire Avenger. On Big shark. On, on one, one wound. wound. <laughs> so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attacks. There we go. Nine attacks coming in to the Dire Avenger. Needing fours because veterans are not like working in combat. And then fours. Cool. We're fine, we'll find it later. We'll roll another one. There you go. Three. One wound. One wound. Oh dear. He survived it! Mother He's alive! Right, so we're going to go with the priest down here. He's got three attacks. War hymns. This one is going against the wounded. He is, yes. Yeah, yeah. So war hymns means he gets an extra one because he yeah. affects himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then, I believe he re-rolls his own hits as well. And he re-rolls... Oh, oh, oh. So I right. found, so, found some more dice. Look. Found some more dice here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right, so... Hitting on fours. We re-rolls. So we roll the three. Make it worse. Okay, so what's he got? Actually, it's just, just a chain sword. Right, no problem. He's going to need fours. One. Oh. One more left on that guy. 50-50 oh. is saved. Oh, right. Next ones. Let's go for the primary soccer. Right, so three attacks. Yep. He's got a four stave. Mm -hmm. So it's plus two strength, minus one, D3 wounds. Ooh. Hitting on threes. Yep, and that one's already down to two. He's hit with two. That's a four stave, do plus one to your strength. Uh, plus two. Plus two to the strength. I'm going strength to command point. point that. Oh, oh, he's using them. He's using the actual command points. So we're down to two command points left. Of course it was. <laughs> of course it was. I don't know why I bothered rolling a dice. No. So uh, that would be... One wound. One wound. One wound as a man. Speech. It's gone through. Ooh. He saved. Saved on three. No more command points left for the Eldar. But Asraman is still alive. Eleven attacks coming in at the four remaining Dire Avengers. Good work. That's fantastic work, I'll tell you. Three hits. Three hits. Ah, one, one wound. wound. Well on guard. It does take a guy out. Okay, so the Ogwin now is going against, because he gets to choose, he's going against Azuma. for four attacks. Oh, is that only one hit? That's only one hit. But that has wounded him. Is it a wound? Oof. He's saved with a six. The mighty wings have saved Azuma. He is still alive. So I get a chance now because I think there's no 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 one got in combat to actually have a fight back. I'm going to go with one of the wall. I'm going to start with these warlocks now. Right, okay. So it's two attacks, needing threes and then twos with him over there. So one hit, two's to wound. Yep, wounded. Standard oh. save. It's D three wounds though. If is this on the so priest? This is on the priest. Yeah. That's four up in vulnerable. It's oh, gone through. Are you come on point in. No, oh, you lose one. Yeah, D three. So free, they slay him. This is from the wounded guy. 
So I think I'll uh, just pass him around that way. There we go. He's like, yeah, Ogrins, how dare you? Come on. Um, it's Chimera. You've got a Chimera. I can attack these this lovely bunch of uh, Banshees that has uh, played you all game by the looks of it. No. No hits so far. So I'm going to go with Azraman. And there's five attacks. Needing twos against the... I'm going to go against the Ogre hit. Yep, that'll do it. That's all of them. I need fours to wound, and any sixes is D3 mortal wounds. He's done two sixes. Well, there they go. That's an addition, so that's only two. Uh, the six wounds will be enough. Yes, but you do have saves. Oh, sorry, I thought you said they were mortal. Yeah, but two. Right, D3 mortal wounds for every six I have a roll in addition to. So I've rolled a one and a two, so he suffered two mortal wounds. He's still got a wound left. Oh, right. So he's got three armor saves or invulnerable saves because he's got one of them shields. Four ups. No. No, so he doesn't actually fall. Go for that. I'll go with the Banshees. Um, that's going to be three attacks on the X Act, two on normally. So that's against the tank. Mm -hmm. And I'm oh, going to hit. I need. Sixes on the red and I need fives on the black. So I've got one six with a minus three and one five with a minus three. Okay. So uh, which one? Because that will cause right. D3. So, so. D3 one first? Yep. No. Yeah. No. Next one? No. So the D3 causes a point. So two whole points. <laughs> yeah, doing well. So Chimera is currently on eight points. Uh, the Dire Avengers, that's going to be two attacks for normal guys, two attacks for the X shot with the Dire Sword. They're going to go against the Guard. Getting freeze. <laughs> At least the Dire Sword hit for once. I'm going to change some dice because they're terrible. Uh, I need fours and any sixes is a mortal wound in addition. No, so it's one, it's minus three. That's just going to, yeah, it's not even going to be able to get saved, it's just going to murderize one of those guys. The Dire Avenger with a glaive left. Dire Avenger X Shot, so it will live, and a normal Dire Avenger. Dire Avenger X Shot will be in black, in freeze. All hit. I need fives and sixes on everything. Now the Glaive has wounded twice. Uh, I can't remember what the Glaive's minus. Minus two and one damage. Okay, so it's minus two and one damage. So it'll be on the Slab Shield, because that's the one you've already got wounded. Yep. So you have to take these right at a time, because you've only got one wound left. Uh, that's a six. Yeah. <laughs> so it's safe. He? And he saved that one as well. And then I've got this guy inside here. I can't really see. There we go. Yeah. So it's two attacks, needing threes. One hit. And he needs fours. And he murders one of the veterans. One of the veterans goes down. A bit of morale to do in this one. Um, those guys have only lost one, so they're not going to be able to take the morale because they're fine. But he did suffer this one in the APA, which you can't see. It suffer a lot, and so did they. So I'm just going to come back. So I'm going to roll the dice now. Five. He's gone. He's running away. And over there, the two Dire Avengers that are remaining. They lost five out of his squad this time. Leadership nine. Yeah, they're fine. Five, six, seven. They're not running this time. But he is. Okay, end of uh, Elder's turn three movement phase. Not much happening, <laughs> apart from, of course, some psychers moving up uh, in and around these Ogrins. Uh, we've still got this big chunk of men to try and actually get through. And these guys here are holding this objective on losing Eldar, which the thing is with Eldar is that you need to hit hard. Uh, I have kind of hit hard, but unfortunately not hard enough. Uh, so I'm going to start with some Destructor, the Wounded guy over there is going to try and cast Destructor onto those guys, trying to cause a mortal wound. I need a fives. It's a seven. Uh, I believe you might be within 24, so we could try and stop it. Let's have a go. No probs. No. No. So, seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Goes through and kills that Ogryn, the one on the, uh, the one wound there. The second Warlock will also cast his ability, and we're minus one, we need a six. Nope, that's not going to go through. And then he's going to do exactly the same thing against this, again, needing a six because I've failed the other one. Yep. So that's going to go take this down to nine. Uh, it's going to be a smite from this guy into there. I should have done that first, actually, because I've had two successes now, so it's minus two, so I need sevens. 
No! We're into the shooting phase. I'm going to start with the two pistols from the uh, extra, from the Howling Banshees, into the tank that they're currently in combat with. Two hits, need fives. Oh, I got one with a minus three. Yeah, another wound on the Chimera. It's now down to seven. And then the X Shark here will also fire his pistol into these guys. Uh, yep, that's a hit. And that's a wound. So one more on the. Yeah, it's another one gone down with this one first. You're going to be moving in 24. So the Shuriken Cannons are going to be in black. And the standard bright lance is going to be in red. It should theoretically hurt. The black gets to be roll one. No, so one black hit. What's the toughness of that flying oh, bird? So that's going to need a five. They're going to need threes. Right, so it's one that's gone through. It is a minus four. So it's not going to be able to stop it. D6 damage. Oh, it's just oh, one. Just the one. Just the one. Down to a rinse and repeat, as Winters would say. Firing that guy into the same. Again, any blacks can reroll the ones. No. Nope. There's five on the black and three on the red. So one of the reds has gone through and one of the blacks has gone through. Now the black is a standard armor save. No. Nope. No, <laughs> basically whatever I roll on this plus and one. So three, that's gonna be another four points of damage, reducing that down to four. Uh yeah, chuck a pistol in there from uh, that guy there. Yeah, it's a hit. He's a five or six. No. Okay, after checking, we've got some snipers here. I can actually see this captain down here. So I'm going to fire at him. Uh, freeze to hit. <laughs> Two skulls. And uh, freeze to wound. Oh, I've got a six. So that's one mortal and two armor saves. Which two fails wounds. one of them, so he suffers two wounds. Sorry, Ginge. Okay, you can touch hands in it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, just a bit of homoerotic, I've never hit anybody. <laughs> and then these guys, these guys moved to fire their heavy weapons, so they're going to fire at the snipers, needing fours. And surprisingly, I moved with the snipers, and they're actually hitting better than the snipers that stood still and took aim. So, it's uh, three hits <laughs> against your snipers. I need. Freeze, so that's one mortal and two armor saves on those guys, needing fours. Okay. So two, two, go two down. of the command squad go down, I guessing. I'll take yeah, the yeah, Vox yeah. and then one. Be it for the shooting phase. Uh, we're going to do the combat off camera and then we'll be back with the results. Oh, uh, uh, consolidating all the charges, he managed to make it in here, didn't actually get uh, wounded at all by the Overwatch fight. And of course, both of them two have challenged into the last remaining Ogwin. Uh, this combat is still ongoing down here, which we'll come to in a moment, but we're going to have to do all the charges first. Although this Grange does have two command points and he could, could try <laughs> and steal. Uh, so because he could try and steal, I'm going to have to go with something. I'll probably go with the wounded guy over there onto the Ogryn. So it's going to be two attacks needing freeze, both hit. And both the wounds need twos to wound because he's using a witch blade. Both wounded. There's no minus to this, but it is D3 damage. And is it four plus? Yep. Oh dear. Oh dear. So I want I need to roll not double one. That's a three. That's three wounds on the Ogrin. That's a bye bye oh. Ogrin. Right. The Ogrin's gone. And then I'm gonna interrupt. Yeah, I thought you would. <laughs> what let me guess, with this psycho over here yeah. that's gonna try and kill Aramon. That, yeah. that's, that's basically what's gonna happen. That's now. gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen, happen now. So, hitting on threes. How many attacks? Three? Three of them. Mm, quite a tasty guy. Two hits. Uh, his strength is plus two with a so, force day. Yeah, so, his strength is five. So, I'm winning on threes. Two wounds. Yeah, two and wounds. these are to minus, doesn't really matter, but minus yeah. one. And D3 damage. damage. So, this is important. Oh, that skull. That's one got through, Frank. That's skull. That's one got through. Oh! <laughs> oh. It's a wound! Going on to this combat. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Two attacks, needing freeze. And two, because of which blade. One wound on the bird of Britain. He's a normal armor. 
No. <laughs> oh, why can't I roll anything but ones? D3 damage. It's a free. It's down to one wound on the bird. Oh, that's taking some hammer in this particular turn. And then picking units. Now, he's already gone with the actual psychic, so I'm actually going to go with these guys down here onto the guard before I get a chance to attack back. The X shark again will be in black. I need him freeze. And I need fours. So only one armor save from one combat from a normal guy. So just a five plus. Why ones? <laughs> Why? <laughs> and then you get to choose. Which which guys would you like to go with next? Right, I'm gonna choose these lads here. Them lads there. Oh, the I'm chimera. <laughs> no, I'll give the chimera a rest for now. <laughs> That's two, five, six, seven, eight, nine attacks back. Nine attacks back on the Dire Avengers. Oh, oh, maybe, well, that <laughs> maybe not. That's <laughs> hot. That is. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, oh, oh, whaling, whaling hits, whaling hits. Three. That's pretty good, actually. Needing fours. Oh, Another Dire Avenger unit down to the aspect action. Right, okay, against the Chimera, might as well. Um, again, the X-Shark will be in black. Needing freeze. Ooh, she's hit all three this time. That's what I'm wanting with that execution. I am needing fives with the black and six with the red. <sighs> Two fives. This is minus three and it will be D3 damage apiece. Against the Chimera, so that's going to need to be sixes to save. Because it's minus three. No. no. So, two D3. And it's a double skull. Fantastic. And then Azraman, who is five attacks. Alright, so he needs twos. Yep. And he then needs, because he's strength five, so he needs threes. And any sixes, a D3 model wounds. So he actually causes five mortal wounds upon that uh, witch. Yeah. I think he's dead. Yeah. yeah. I think he is. And then he's going to consolidate three inch into the chimera. <laughs> and then he's move closer to the nearest enemy. So I can technically do that, even though I'm actually moving kind of away from other units, but I am actually ending my move closer to an enemy unit. Uh, unfortunately, I've only scored one VP at the end of this, and there's a couple of morale tests to go with. I was going to say there, leadership six. Well, that's when ones come in handy, uh, peeps. Love that's you, when ones, guys gods. Yeah. Love you guys <laughs> that's gods. when ones come in handy. Dire Avengers? Are they now? Dire Avengers is minus two, but leadership's nine, so they should be, able to be quite okay. And the Chimera is actually not attacked back, I've just realised. Oh! Uh, but it's on five wounds now, so how many, uh, Ooh, how many yes, attacks will it have? Is it D3 of it? Let's have a look. Oh. So D3. Three attacks. Three attacks. Hit your ones. Oh, he's hit me once. Hit me once. Uh, uh, strength. Six. So, yep, yeah, that's wounded. Yeah. That's, that's it. Saved on the <laughs> aspect armor. Right, so we're going to do Granger's turn. Four. four! My god, we are getting to the crunch time now. We're going to grand just turn four, and when we come back, uh, we'll get crack on with the shooting phase as he's now lost all of his cycles. Okay, Grange just turn four, shooting phase coming up. Right then. Backed off from the actual combat with his Chimera for once, which is now down to five wounds. We're going to be wounding Chimera here. That's, I believe he's trying to stay still so he can probably fire at these guys. Uh, they didn't run away, and you've got an injured captain. And the uh, Valkyrie decided, yeah, I'm going to run right into your lines, because if I blow up, that hopefully should take some of you guys out with me. Uh, what are you going to do first, Dick? Right there. Hmm? Right Orders. So, so too much beer. first one yep. is going to be take aim. Oh, take aim on that unit. And everything is going to fire at the Banshees. Oh, he's trying to eliminate the Banshees, possibly so we can try and get a cheeky shot off at Azraman. It will be very cheeky. It will be very cheeky. Right, yes. so frag missile to start with. Yep, yeah, you said it. Three. Three shots, hitting on five. That's an artillery dice, that range. <laughs> it's okay because it was a two. 
That's very cocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so them two you can re roll. Because you stood still and you take aim. Yep. Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't take it. I didn't stand still. Oh, right, okay. Just the one. Just the one. Just the one. That is wounded. Just wounded. Wounded. And it's a save with a four. And then that will be. Ooh, let's check rapid firing. I think most will be. So this will just be. Yeah, take it. Ones. It will just be ones. That improved it greatly. Yep. Yeah, definitely. You do need fours. Yeah, that's three of them though. Needing fours. So one down, we're down to the X shark, which has and got two wounds. A rapid fire plasma. Rapid fire plasma gun coming in. Didn't overcharge. No, you didn't no, 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 overcharge. No, 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 you do get a reroll your ones, oh, remember? Okay, well done. So that's uh, one hit. Now it's two to wound, causing the damage, but two to wound. The minus of three is ignored. She's within six inches of Azraman, who gave us any aspect warrior squad a five plus invulnerable save. So she has a five in up. Oh, yep. So she's alive. <sighs> Damn your black heart. <laughs> Next order from this chap. Yep. Right. We have a long distance las cannon <laughs> shot. <laughs> so he's going to give him take, take aim. aim. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Wait. We've That's hit. That's a miss. Minus one oh, to it hit. Is, isn't it? Yeah. And you can't re-roll it because the modifiers are applied afterwards. <sighs> what a horrible game. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to give these guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing these guys are going to try and get me off the subject and we're going to try and the take pass that. that the guard is trying to escape from I managed to claw back and claim this whatever this is in this building here but uh, so only know, seven, shots. seven shots it's a bit of a dodgy free that one there isn't yeah. It? yeah it is a free one because there's a two on the other side yeah. needing Fives, uh, fours normally, but anything less than a four you can re-roll. So all of it, luckily enough. Yep. Looking for fives. Ah, uh, nothing, nothing else. Even if you were looking for fours, that was still nothing. So that was what, spectacular. Um, yep. Two wounds. Now I'm in cover, so plus two, so I need threes. Ooh, who's, a, who's a man? Who's a man? And then... And that's the last order will go onto the snipers and we'll fire onto these chaps. Well, yeah, last order for take aim. So needing threes minus one fours. You can't re-roll the three because that does count as a hit. Three for a six. It is a wound because it's strength four as a sniper. Yep. And it's saved, unfortunately. This unit is going to fire into the okay banshee, so that's going to be. I think I might be within a grenade. Normally, nope. our local club we actually do have some plastic rulers that are really good for stuff like this. So that um, is two, three, four, five, d six, <laughs> d six, which is six. That's twelve. Uh, See if he's in any rapid fire range as well. Yeah, that's 14. 14 shots at one lonely banshee with two wounds left. Four plus armor and a five plus invulnerable. It does get to reroll the ones. Did you not move with the squad? No, no. Oh, yes, I have moved. You move with the squad, so no rerolling of the ones. He didn't roll any ones anyway. Um, so, possibly a good thing. But this time I've opted to hit something. Oh, force to wound. I've got four wounds. Four wounds. She's got, so far, she's not taken a wound, but I do need 50 50. An odd state. Oh, I've beaten the odds. That one, that one. She's lost a wound. She's down to one. These guys? Hydra. Hydra! I'm guessing he's firing a heavy bolter at that banshee. <laughs> no, no, no. He's firing everything at the banshee. <laughs> okay. Heavy bolter. How much have you had to drink? Here, Not right? enough. <laughs> <laughs> heavy bolter at the banshee. That's it. Yeah, there you okay. go. There you go. What you need? Yep, it's a hit. Uh, so you need a three. Wounded. Yep. Uh, it's a five anyway because the minus one the invulnerable save. She's failed. She's gone down. So the Hydra just 
absolutely decimates her corpse with multiple, multiple firing. Okay, so we just measured range for the veterans. One last gun is in range of Azraman, and he's gonna try. He needs a three. We are rolling ones because he's not moved. Oh, he did move. And he's hit yeah. anyway. He needs a five. Azraman's a toughness of. No. Oh. And I believe it's a two plus armor save for Azraman as well, actually. Right. These chaps down here. The missile launcher is going to go into the wounded. Is oh, yes. Ooh, yeah, which yeah. is closest? Which is closest? Uh, actually. I, I believe with characters now, I think um, there was a bit of a, an errata. I'm not mm. quite sure if it's official yet, but I believe that with characters you are allowed. If there's one character closest, you are, you're allowed to pick me. In that case, then. Um, now you couldn't pick Azra. No, because he's, he's, that, closer, yeah, he's, he's closer. closer and he's in combat. So that means I have to go at the Dire Avengers. That's true, yes. You're so, not the target of characters. Frag will go into. Everything will go into the Dire Avengers. So, Frag. No and there's still two remaining down in that corner there. So, Frag Missile. Yep. Yeah. Three shots. Three shots. Two hits. Two hits. Uh, you stood still. We rolled ones. Um, no point. No. Still missed. Two wounds. Two wounds. Forced save. Uh, we're not counting that barricade. So one down. So the actual last Diamond Avenger goes down before the X-Shark. Two of the shots gone. And then there's an X-Shark there. Grenade launcher. Yep. Which, ooh, 24. 24 inch, that's going to be in range. Yeah. Sure. And then a lad gun. These guys, this way so. down here. So we need two, two shots. And another one from the lad gun yeah. on the same time. One hit. And I reroll the other one. So I'll yeah. reroll that one. Still, oh, here's hit. the one hit. Force to wound. Wounded. Force to save. Saved. Yeah. Right. It's definitely, definitely different. And then this fella. Yeah, he's not moved. I'm just going to shoot these. these. Needs fives normally sixes because they're rangers. So this is going to be the multi laser. Yep. He has hit one. It's a two's to wound. No. And, and heavy bolter. Heavy bolter. Oh, that's one. Freeze. No. Uh, no. Okay. No, no. <laughs> No, no, no. Chewing up nothing, can't, can't get the old out past that particular point there. Right then, I think that is everything that can shoot shotted. Well, I think there's going to be some charges. Yes. I'll just do the charges and the overwatch off camera. And then we'll okay, come so just one charge coming in. These guys are going to charge into Araman and of course the last woman or however you pronounce it into the Dire Avenger X shot as well. It's going to be these guys first. So. We're going to put this lot here and the sergeant into Azimuth. Okay. And these two will be going into the into the uh, Exarch. So okay. two into the Exarch, I'll do first. Yep. One hit. One hit. No wounds. No wounds. And then three, four, five, six, seven, eight will be in eight it. Eight into Azimuth. That's five, six, seven, eight. Four hits. Toughness. Needs, toughness is four. So I'm looking at fives. There's two. Two wounds. He has a two plus armor save. Azraman is alive. And then. I'm going to pick a unit. Pick a unit will have, it'll be the other side. Yeah, so yeah. we're looking at two, three. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine attacks into the Dire Avenger. Yep. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine attacks. Ow. Ooh, four hits. Savage. Uh, Three wounds. Three. Still on two wounds is the Dire Avenger actually. Forced to save. Ah, what does this do? He's gone down. As we're going to fight back, because he's the only one that's in combat, he gets five attacks, twos, and he's looking for threes to wound you. Any sixes, D3 mortal wounds. No! Bunch of twos there, he only kills two of them. Mine's three, murderized two. Hand hudump. 
Christ, how's everyone still alive? We've one wound left. Don't seem to want to give up that fucking position likely. Now, um, morale. Morale. Just going to be on those guys, really. Mm. It's minus one, so if you're all a six. Well, minus two. No, it's easy with it. Uh, no, you're fine. Mm. Seventh of arrow. Okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> oh, morale for me on that one, actually. No, they're okay as well, because they've got leadership of seven. In fact, I shouldn't have rolled for them, because they've got leadership of seven. Right, that's it then. I'm going to be going into my turn four. He has, Grange has scored another two VPs, which takes him up to seven. seven. I mean, he's changed his dice. And uh, I'm, I'm starting to lag behind, and I'm not going to be able to get a lot of stuff back. Uh, but I'm going to do my movement, and we'll take it up again in my turn four. So after my movement, the tanks are starting to roll forward. I need to try and get onto these positions. I don't think I'm going to be able to, but I've got to at least try. Um, guys over there are moving forward. Mainly just to try and tie up something down here. And I might, if I've got a chance, to be able to try and annihilate some vehicle. Uh, going on to Psychic Crazy, I'm going to go with Smite from the Bones here first. It's going to go into this tactical squad. Oh, this tactical squad. I've been playing guard too much. Uh, sorry, but against Marines, that's a five. That's actually a pass because it's the first one. So it's going to be D3 mortal wounds on that squad in combat there. And that's one. Whoopee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, second round, so Smite is going to be that guy over there with one wound. It's a Destructor. You can just check me 8 inch actually because it's only an 8 inch range for a Destructor. Yeah, you're in. you're in. So it's going to be a 6. Yep, he's passed with a 9, so that's a mortal wound on that squad there. And the second guy actually, is he. Actually, actually, what I'll do is I'm just going to put one a wound, wound on there. Uh, is that other guy within range as well? Yep. Which guy? The other one. The other one, yeah. He's within eight inches. Yeah. Yeah. So he's going to put a wound on that guy, but I'm going to roll another one, which is going to be a minus two. So I'm going to need a seven. That's an 11. It's a shame. It's not a normal smite. That would have been an amazing D6. But it's only one because it's structured. So, yep, yeah, that's uh, the heavy weapon team gone out of that particular squad. He is going to try and cast the... Re um, actually, he had... Yes, he had reveal. So he's going to have reveal, and he's going to try and make sure that these guys don't get their cover saves. He fails. He managed to actually cast that off. Right, let's get down to some dirty, dirty shoe. Okay, so these snipers are going to try and take out that captain. Kind of need him to, to die, so he's no longer giving these guys rerolls. Freeze to hit. Three hits. Freeze to wound. I've got three wounds, and he's got a four plus armor in that cover. He's got two wounds left. It's up to you, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd re roll that one because that was a cock. So he's down there, he's down the one, he's still got one wound left. These will fire at their counterparts. Two shots needing fours, <laughs> so <Sorry>, threes. <laughs> And they got a successful two. If they run, they seem to be able to hit things. If they stand still, they do nothing. Um, a couple of shuriken pistols, both of them two, into them. I'm going to do them both at the same time, because the range of 12 should be able to get to both of them. Uh, so freeze, and again, nothing. Nothing hitting, nothing wounding. Right, two shuriken cannons. I'm going to do these together, because it's just going to be easier. Two shuriken cannons into the uh, veteran squad. And their four lance weapons are going to go straight into that. So, of course, I'm going to start with the shurikens. Uh, they have moved, but shurikens is an assault weapon. And, of course, belt time means I can re-roll the ones. So that's five hits. Uh, I need twos, because it's strength six. Any sixes will be a massive minus, so that'll be one dead. And three wounds needing fours. No, but uh, down by three. Okay, four lance weapons, four bright lances going straight into that bit of the tank there. And I do need fours because I moved. I've actually hit with three of them. I'll change some dice because uh, you know, rolling high means you're going to roll all next time around. Oh, so it's supposed to that. I need freeze, and he's not going to get a save against these. So two's gone through. How many wounds does that thing have there, Grinch? It is 11. 
So I need high, is what you're telling me. 11. 11. So I need really high to be able to actually make it explode. 2d6. <gasps> That's 6, 7, 8 wounds off it. He's down to 3. That's a pretty good round of shooting from those two tanks. So he's not going to be able to hit me as great as what he has been able to previously. Right, now here comes... Going to uh, cut away and do some charging. We'll come back into an assault phase. Whether or not I've managed to make it in, there's going to be another question. Right, so at the end of, uh, end of the charge phase there, um, these guys have got in. Of course, no overwatch because they're already in combat. Uh, the Warlock managed to get into here while suffering a wound. These we're going to do on camera because I've got a funny feeling I'm going to lose uh, some Warlocks here. So this Warlock is going to, the Warlock that's wounded, one wound left, is going to try and charge those two guys there. So that is a rapid firing last gun and the last pistol. pistol. So three and shots. And a grenade. Grenade which is, launcher, which yeah. Is three three shots. shots. Oh no, nothing. No, no, no. Now is that a crater? No, no, no. No? Okay, 11. He manages to wade in there. And I'm going to try and get his buddy in as well. He gets a nine. So both. And the Warlocks have managed to charge in. That's absolutely uh, better than I expected, to be honest. So starting with some charging units, I'm going to go... Grange has no command points left, so it's basically just going to go across the board. Uh, so I'm going to start with this guy here. He needs freeze to hit. Grange has been complaining and saying my dice are kind of weighted all game. That <laughs> happens. Uh, so with Dire Avenger, uh, Exarchy, he's got two attacks, needing freeze. Yeah, and then he's got plus one strength, so he's going to need threes with a minus three. So he manages to kill two out of that squad that he's in combat with. So after checking the bone singer's attacks, he's only actually got one attack, needing threes and then fours. It still wounds, and it does D3 damage, so it's just a stand standard straightforward save. No. No, so another one of that squad actually goes out, so it's either the plasma gun, the sergeant, or D3 wounds upon that... Uh, yeah, I thought so. Blood was going to go there. Yeah. Over there, I'm going to do both warlocks at the same time. It's going to be four attacks effectively in total. Needing threes, then twos. And two warlocks have been awesome all game. Yep, yeah, that's four wounds on that squad. No minus. And they kill everybody. And if they consolidate three inch, it's going to be this. Well, actually, is that closest? I might just keep them where they are, just for well, the minute. Ease. So I kept a unit still for ease, and then it's going to be my choice to select. So of course I'm going to go with Azraman first, because um, he's the only one that's in the following combat. So five dice needing twos. Damn it. And then he needs three. This is against this particular squad in front of him. And he didn't get any sixes again. Against the Ogrens, he's murdering him. Against Guardsmen, he can't do anything. Minus three, so that's going to be two Guardsmen out of that squad killed. And then, basically, this is going to be a bunch of attacks back. Right then. So, which squad do you want to go with first? It doesn't really matter. Um, right. We'll start with the... The team. Now, they don't really need to move, because they're all within an inch of someone that's actually within an inch. So, yes. there's a large base there. So, there'll be six attacks. Ooh, they don't like that warlock. That's four hits. Ooh, Ooh. Three wounds. 50-50, says it's gonna die. Yeah, he got pulverized and murdered quite a lot there. Now, Freedom's Consolidation, do you want to move towards the tanks? Oh, no. Are you sure? Positive. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, right, down here then. So, we've got one particular squad that's gonna go straight against Azraman, and I'm guessing the other squad might go against him as well. Uh, yes. So we'll everything's going to go against Azure. Yeah, so that will him. be two. That's three. Three, four, four five. five, six, seven, eight, yep. nine, ten, eleven, twelve attacks. Twelve attacks against Azure because he hates him so much at this moment in time. Even though he's not really done much. We said but, twelve, didn't we? Yeah, twelve attacks, maybe. So it's four. Oh, mm. they really hate this guy. They really hate this guy. Uh, yeah. He hates him a lot. Fives and sixes to wound. But not that much. Oh, Just the two. Only ones. two though. Two and the way my dice are rolling, that's enough. 
No, no, no. Azerman stops that. Stops that dead in his The morale we just lost another guy out of his squad. I think that's the one in combat with Azerman. I personally don't think this is going to go that well towards the end of the game. Um, I have got another victory point down here, but it only takes me up to five, whereas Grange is currently on seven. Um, we'll see what happens in Grange's turn five, mm -hmm. and then uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, bound into the orders. Uh, unfortunately, that particular captain that's still chuffing alive. Yes, a very Yorkshire turn there. What's he going to go with? Right, first of all, take aim. Mm, and then he's going to pop him up. <laughs> Let's see how many shots we get off. Roll low, Grange. Just, just... Maybe not this time. Okay, 13. 13. That's 3, 6, 7, 8, 12, 13. We need 4s with re-rolls. Right, we need 4s with re-rolls. Yep. Yeah. So we'll do that first. So re rolls that are not four. And then any fours are a miss. <laughs> oh, that's actually I've got quite some good hits there. Any fours are actually a miss because of the minus one. There we go. And that's a four. Yeah. Freeze to wound. Surprisingly, I pick four up there. Four, four wounds. And I need freeze to save, otherwise, the guys are gone. Oh, I lost one. Got a funny feeling that Chimera is going to try and uh, have a, a word with me. <laughs> First of all, next order onto the snipers. Next order onto them, right, okay. Two snipers trying to come in. Shooting each other all game, man. Uh, both of them can be, oh no, no, because that's a vet mean, that's yep. a three, so that's actually a hit Yeah. Uh, for a moment. So you can re-roll the one. Let's get confusing with these rules. And then, because they're minus one, they both miss. Yeah. And then, order from them onto them. Mm -hmm. And they're going to fire everything they can. Actually, no. What I'm going to do is, let me just figure out which order it is that allows you to fight a round of combat. Ah, yes. Um, it's not get back in the fight, but there is one that there allows is you one, to actually. Yeah. So it's uh, fixed Fi bayonet. So this unit is going to fight against Araman. So that's going to be three, four, five, six attacks. He really wants to bring him down in combat. That's two hits. And five to wound, no wounds. And I'm going to do the same with the other unit, I which is... in six. Oh, actually, that's a good point. He won't be. No. So, no more orders. No more orders. Mm. Oh, actually, no, he can. He'll give these yeah, guys uh, take aim. Yep, yeah, so they didn't move. Oh, they did? They did? Oh, they did. Right, so okay. they're three rolling ones. You're so honest. One. So honest. Right, okay. Uh, so, yep, yeah, some shooting yeah. into the uh, into the guys up there. Yep, yeah, so last one's first. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so it's one hit. One hit. One wound. wound. And then the D6 shots from the mm -hmm. grenade launcher. Might as well at the same time, the same saves. And then re-rolling once, and you need in... Oh no, because I moved. Ah, oh, but you didn't. You, you give him take aim. Oh, I did, well done. So you need fives and sixes. So three... Three hits. hits. And no, no wounds from that, so just one needing three. Oh, actually, have a, can I get a melter gun? Hmm, probably good actually, yeah. yeah. Not within six, but you can get a standard melt gun shot. Right, so I'll get a multi gun down onto them. Which one? Uh, it's the, cl it's closest. the closest one. No problem. Freeze to hit. It's hit. a hit. Freeze to wound. No. Fail to wound. And what about um, a Hydra? A Hydra hasn't fired. Oh, yes. Uh, Even though it's on, is it last profile? Well, it's second to last. Second to this, it's all that nicely. It's been on its last profile. The is going to go up into. The scouts, okay. and everything else will go into there. We'll just check see if it's the last profile, because if it can, I don't think it can shoot. It's on the second to last profile, so it's going to need uh, six to hit the rangers. Nope. No, we roll oh, ones. We roll ones. Nope. No, and then the hydra's opening up at the nearest falcon, uh, which I'm hoping is actually going to get an armor, but we'll check that in a moment. Mm -hmm. uh, now, it's normally fives. 
plus one because I'm a flyer, so you're actually hitting on fours because of your ability. Ah, yes. So, yep, that's a bunch of hits. Fours to wound. Three. Uh, minus one, so we need fours to save. That's one that's gone through. Normally two damage, waves open shield makes it one, and then hollow. No, so it goes down now to nine wounds, still in the full profile. So, uh, wave servants are proving incredibly hard. And this Chimera is finding all its heavy bolters up there. Yep. That's going to need sixes. Yes, because of the, uh, again, it's on a down downgrade of profile. Uh, real in ones, because it did stay still. So two sixes in a minute. So two sixes and one wound. Oh, another, another. No, oh, I like him, I like him. Uh, another one, another one. I think that is all my shooting, mate. Actually, no, this thing. Oh, yes. I'm guessing he's shooting yeah. at one lone man there. It's going to be six as well, won't it? It will. But uh, it's two different weapon profiles. Yeah, so multi laser, first of all. Yep, three shots. Oh, two hits, needing twos to wound. This could be deadly. Freeze. Oh, I saved it! Have an alter. No. no. Oh, still painting. Painting Granger's side. Yes. Painting Granger's side. Uh, assaults. <laughs> yes. So, there isn't, I'm not charging. You're not charging? No? No. So it's just be... You're going to pick them first. These guys <laughs> are going to go into a So that's three, yep. four, five, six attacks. Six attacks. Two hits. No wounds. No wounds. So I'll go with the Dire Avenger X Shark next. Two hits. And two wounds on the guard squad in front of him. Minus three because of the... Uh, oh, well, there you go. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, minus two. I don't still apologize. Gone. So, yes, yeah, still gone. So, so two. Guessing two. Just one wound apiece. Okay. So, I'm guessing you're going to remove him. Yep. And he'll... That's all the eight up. Okay, there we go. And then he'll put three attacks into Razzman. Oh, three attacks into Razzman. Should have gone with Razzman first. One hit. Needing fives. No. Oh, it's just free, and unfortunately, it's not a cock a doodle. Uh, the bone seer will go hits and wounds that uh, lonely sergeant. Need a five. Oh, oh. he's alive. And <laughs> that's not a good thing. Um, I needed him to die. So I'm going to put one attack, which is the black one, against that sergeant, because I don't like him. And then four attacks against the squad that is already fighting. And typically, I don't chuff and kill that sergeant, so I'm going to be locked in combat for another turn unless I break off. Uh, although, he did do two sixes, so he does two D3 mortal wounds against that unit. And he's just done five mortal wounds against the squad. There's only four wounds left on that unit, so he has actually murdered them. I did not murder them. Yes, you bloody well did. But, I can't consolidate up because of that. Chauffeur and Sergeant. I'm needed to try and clear this unit to try and claim this objective here. Right. Right. No morale needed. No. Nope. Down to the last one. Oh, no, actually, I lost two out of that squad there. I do need a morale on them. Uh, they're okay. I have to bounce that sometimes of a crime era. All right, done my movement. It's not that great. This is the actual last turn of the game because the open play normally ends on turn five. Um, I've moved some warlocks forward to see whether or not I can actually kill this guy and dislodge these guys from their combat, uh, allowing them to be able to move in and target others. I have to try and murder all of these guys, all of them guys, and then try and claim that objective and murder all of these guys as well. Uh, I should be able to claim that objective. At the end of the game, each objective is worth three victory points. Right at the end. So I would claim one, which would get me up to six. And then hopefully, if I've got two of these, I could either draw the game or win it. So this is down to the wire. So the wounded warlock is going to try and cast his destructor to get rid of this guy here. Yes, he's got a six, seven, so he has died. The other guy is not really going to have... Oh, 
The other guy has actually got Quicken. I'm going to try and cast that on Azraman to give him a movement. It's passed. Azraman has a move. It's going to go around here for seven. Oh, is it all falling into place for the Eldar? Is this what they've predicted? Uh, the other guy is going to do a smite, which will be at a minus one. I believe that's against these guardsmen. Uh, a six. Yes, that's actually been cast. We're against this squad of guardsmen. That's a three dice, so it's a D3, so it's going to be two gone. I can see Granger's disheartened in his face there. Um... These guys, right, okay, so I'm gonna fire both of the <laughs> both of the wave serpents, which are crashing through these buildings here. Uh, now we're gonna both have a go at the veterans, which there is three left. So both of them are gonna fire their um they're both gonna fire their cannons at them. Uh their shuriken cannons, and then they're both gonna fire the bright lancers at the <laughs> mortar team. <laughs> currently oh sat on there. So the the shuriken cannons first, needing freeze, re-rolling ones. Oh, it's only three hits and there's three left. I need twos. Right, one's gone through and killed a minus three. The other two's wounded. These are two saves of four. <sighs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> right, four bright lands which moved, needing fours into these guys. That's two. So at least, hopefully, depending on what I roll here. Two's to wound. Two wounds, minus four, so you're not gonna get saved. But, one at a time, because if I roll a one, which I don't, that's one stand, and that's another stand, so that's two stands gone. A sniper rifle will try and fire another shot into these to see whether or not I could probably kill him with morale. He hits, woohoo. He wounds and does a mortal wound as well. How many guys is left? One. So it's just one, so it's just, it, it does that and, so it does a wound oh. and a mortal wound, doesn't he? Dead. Oh, the sniper pulls it back for me. What is happening? Azraman's going to fire off his four shots into the guys that are in front of him. Needing, oh, really want that. Uh, needing twos. Yep. And he's going to need threes. He needs sixes, as usual. Uh, so three wounds on that guard squad there. <sighs> Two down. Two down. You know what's going to happen here, don't you? Mm. I'm going to just go straight to the point. I'm going to go to the charge phase. There's no point doing anything else. This one I can't claim, but now we can grin because he's actually lost his men. I'm going to try and claim that last objective. Azraman is going to risk the Overwatch fire, which you know is going to be murdered by it, <laughs> trying to get into this mortar team. <laughs> Two shots. Two shots. One six. Oh. It doesn't wound. Yeah, it does. His toughness four, his strength oh, is four. Right. He's wounded. He needs a two. Fucking, I've said it now, haven't I? <laughs> oh, he's, he's, he's fine, he's fine, but he needs to get in still. He needs to get into that combat. He's in. It's a six. He's in. He's in. Now it gets him within an inch there. Don't get me wrong, it does dispute it, but I need to claim it. So, straight into the combat with Azraman. Five attacks, needing twos. He's hit with all of them. Any sixes, yes. Three mortal wounds. And again, he's yours. <laughs> and shake on that one there. Oh my good god, what a battle right at the end there, went right to the wire and <laughs> only just Sniper here managing to take out the remaining uh, guys in that particular building But I did think I was going to lose that right up until the end of the game and it became that end turn The sacrifice was worth it
Elda has actually slaughtered the uh, the guardsmen. They've ambushed them properly, and this one ranger stopped them all from running away. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Oh yes. Uh, hopefully, we'll do more of these, depending, of course, upon how <laughs> YouTube reacts to them, and whether or not we can. Uh, I'm <laughs> just how annoyed your missus is in the morning. Yes, uh, after the interruption. Um, and of course, we might actually get some other people on playing these games. Uh, Big Ben Hawley. Hey, maybe even Craig Mills. Oof. Yeah, that would be hilarious. That would need definitely a filter and a bleep. Especially with his language. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.